<laughs> Enjoy your show, baby. My tummy hurt now. I think I got a fart. It's just you amongst family. It's okay. Yeah, it's going to stink. But anyways, oh um, yeah, because I got to take a doodle. I could tell. I could tell I got to take oh, a doodle. Oh, you know what? We lit. Good bowel movements. <laughs> You got yeah, I do mad spray. times a day. How many That's times lit. you do this? Uh, like two to three. Like today, I do. I shit it three times. I but shit like, twice. Yeah, how many like times you shit a day. It depends on how many times I eat. I eat. I eat regular, like fiber and starch and shit. So you know what I'm saying. I'm regular and proud of it. You better be proud of it. I think they need it. to put this inside the episode. They need to put that. We this do. This is a health moment. Is rolling, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This um, is wellness. <laughs> this is wellness. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, all you bald-headed bitches and crusty lip holes for tuning back in to Keeping It Fucking Beaut. Yeah. I got Dustin, you know, the love of my life. Yes, we back together. And then, and then we got Mouse here. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm not doing this. Not today. All right? I fucking hate Star Brim. Dustin's my brother. Yes. You hate me? Nick, I've been saying it for like a week straight. You thought I was playing? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah like uh, to be completely honest with you like i did i thought you was playing like you thought damn. i was playing yeah at least yeah. i got the water I, I, right listen, this I week didn't, yeah of course but yeah, the I water didn't, last week was... if, if i knew that he hated me i'd have been like no alex don't ask him to come back the motherfucker hates me Mouse just be talking. He got Mouse just be talking. He got he got dentures, low key, and he just be wanting to make sure they settled right. So every now and then he just say some crazy <laughs> shit just to be able to talk. Just to be able to hear his. See, phone Dustin take it. Right? Dustin take his feet off that night. <laughs> 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 like one of the fucking Bratz dolls You just come in here No Nigga we here Hold on let me put my foot on What? <laughs> I'm coming to the door I gotta put my foot on <laughs> This nigga I'm fucking this, weak This nigga yeah, Miles nigga. This nigga <laughs> Miles <laughs> I'm this nigga it. Miles did his shape up Get him Dustin Finish This him. nigga Miles did Finish his shape him. up with his feet <laughs> <laughs> And motherfucker be in the mirror with his knee bent Line up his mustache. That's why his shit never could. That's never it. could what? That's why. Now it's never one good. thing. It's one thing about mouse. I'm a lot of things. What is you? But I'm not a nigga who don't have a beard that don't connect. I feel bad for you niggas. All right, out but there. your shit is not. Shout straight. out to the women that beard connect though. What? I love them. They shout wear men's deodorant. Shout out to the women. Women over shout out to, Listen, shout out to the women who like. Cause me, I feel like this. I'm all into bitches getting their body done, but I'm not into bitches that get their body done still living with their mother. I'm not into bitches who get their body done but not their teeth. It's priorities. I'm, like it's like certain stuff that is like, come on, bro, you gonna be having a badass body and your teeth jacked up? Like, come on. But well, maybe they feel like that's their exit plan. You know what I was thinking? You know what I was thinking? I was thinking the same thing. Like, maybe if you get your body done, because if my teeth was fucked up, if I get my body done, that's going to pay I'm, for I'm, your I'm teeth. Attract, yes, I'm attracting the nigga there and be go. like, listen, I get my teeth. Don't you want my Poppy. But I kind of, I ain't going to hold you. Teeth. It depends on how bad are the teeth, though. Because I ain't going to hold you. I don't want to. I don't want the new. I don't want the love and hip hop teeth. I, I'm tired of that. You don't want the uh, stride right teeth. Mm -mm, the baby I don't want those. Teeth. I talked about those. They they glow in the dark. Yeah, I don't <laughs> like that shit. Like I don't want no women. That, I don't want that. I don't want a woman that got that like notebook teeth. Yeah, I want <laughs> marble notebook <laughs> we teeth. Don't want no notebook. Nah, teeth. I don't want that. Like I'm fine. I want to see that you regular. Being, somewhere. I'm not gonna say I'm fine okay. with your teeth being fucked up, but where I draw the line is discoloration. That's you know what, what I'm saying. Like, all brown, it's fine line. for you to have to get your shit in order, but when they like brown, because that means something's like dead. That, that's when I like. That, that means yes. something's dead. Yeah. You ever see a nigga like? Okay, well, y'all probably don't be looking at niggas in their mouth, but you know, like a nigga who. Okay, you do. <laughs> <Yeah>. But <laughs> one of us does. <laughs> okay, but you know, you know <laughs> me, I'm weekend. so, I'm so, like, I'm so into like mouth that, like, people's mouth that is like when I'm sitting here thinking it's like, wait, you getting all that money in? Your teeth is brown, or you yeah. know, your teeth is yeah. fucked. It's like how, how? But there's got to be a nap. There's got to be like a, a median, though. Like there has to be loving hip hop teeth, fucked up teeth. They got to be a, in the middle. <laughs> like there had to be an in the middle surgery that make it look like regular teeth. Like nah, Eve. It's a lot of like Eve, Eve has good. Yeah, that's different. Teeth. She she got a different type of money. Yeah, you're right. Well, her her nigga. That's well, what I'm saying. Me, her I never, husband. I never <laughs> that's even a white paid man. attention to her teeth. I have to. Her look teeth got good teeth. Her, her teeth is the fuck together. Wait, so she she just recently got them done or something? No, she been had them. That's why we ain't seen her a lot. When she got them new teeth, she got a she whole new out, life. She stayed oh, out of dodge. Well. Yeah, she live in she lives in London now. She flies back to L. A. to shoot that oh, talk show what? on CBS type <laughs> shit. I need to do that so niggas can't see me no more. 
No visibility. No fucking visibility. Shout out to the top countries that's um listening to us. Word. Macedonia. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Baptist church. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Macedonia Baptist Church. Oh, that's, God, that's, that's a Baptist church that is, in Flint, Michigan, that is. where I'm from. Shout that, out to that's Macedonia second. That's where I go to second service. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Macedonia. <laughs> Hold on. What's this other one? Y'all help me. Suriname. S- Suriname. Suriname. That's you know, the uh, thing is, Tom you know, Cruise you know and Katie that, Holmes, baby. You know that's next to, um. that's right next to Guyana in South America. Dope. Just found out that today. Mexico, Ghana, Sweden, and shout out to the top cities, which is Compton. Er, shout out to all my bloods out there. Um, <laughs> Portland, Tampa, San Antonio, and Las Vegas. And I'm going to tell you something. Since you're charging so high in Las Vegas, that means you the shit. Because you know it's a lot of shit they could be doing in Vegas. Right? Like meth. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like selling their ass. Yeah, all that. And like, getting away with it. And getting away with it. Yeah, yo, everything legal out there. I'm not gonna hold you. I might. No, I might. I'm not gonna lie. Let me tell you the dumbest thing that I did. I uh, went to listen. I went to Las Vegas, right? Uh-huh. And I went around to Dece- um no like January, and I packed nothing but shorts because I thought it was gonna be so hot. It was hot. It, it's, at night, it was that shit brick. No, even during it was ass. brick dick. It was like 55 degrees Why during was it the so day. so cold out there? I don't know. It's Every, a desert. Motherfuckers had on scarves and jackets. And the thing is, it's like, when it get cold, it's a desert cold. It's a different type of cold. Like, it hits your bones something different because it's like a dry right. cold. Hey. Yo, I had to go and buy a whole new wardrobe, buy a jacket, White everything. people really broke the, they really broke America, son. They it wasn't How like, the fuck Vegas gonna get cold? It was yeah, so the white people cold. broke white people broke America. I'm, 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 it was I'm so cold. Yeah, especially at night, it dropped down to like 20, 30 degrees. It was freezing. I'm like, what the? This is Vegas. Well, I, I'm gonna be out there in fucking December, so it better not fucking be cold in December. Yeah, gonna, at not. nighttime, it's gonna hit about now, 55, 60. You know that don't mean nothing to me. Yeah. I, start, I don't go outside. Yeah, <laughs> I don't go outside. In Vegas, too. you better because the what? trouble happens inside in Vegas. Wait, you don't go outside? In not, in, not in these other spots. Now, when I'm on tour. I go to the show and I go my ass home. I'm Thank not from there. I'm not gonna Rocky lie. I like gambling. No, won't, won't catch me. I'm a good. I'm a good gambler. I love gambling. I am too. What you play, sir? I play, I play blackjack. Me too. I just yeah. started playing blackjack play and I and I just <sighs> that's started. What, that's, that's that's I my. I don't play. Playing. I got kicked out of piano lessons. <laughs> I don't play. You play what you said? Bitches. Bitches. Mm-hmm. Bitches. Yeah. Bitches. Yes, nigga. Like B I T C A. Yeah. That's the only game. That's the only game I'm good at. Of uh, playing bitches. Yeah, because that's the only game I know I'm gonna make my money back off of. <laughs> <laughs> How do you play them? Come on now. I'm trying to play these bitches too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to fit in. It's a new revenue I'm to stream. Fit in too. Yeah, yeah. Look, it's the only game. It's get the money. only gamble listen, I know I'm getting I paid get, on. Listen, I need to get money too. I'm just. I'm just what, I got what I gotta do to play these bitches. I got you. You gonna tell me later? I got you. Don't worry. Oh, I'm yeah. not gonna let them know. I don't let them know none of the secrets. I know you're not gonna tell none of the bullhead bitches, yeah, none of the no, um crusty little bitches. Nope. Yeah. They be in my inbox like, what's the coffee recipe? What's this? What's that? I ain't telling y'all bitches nothing. Right. Nothing. Ain't nobody tell you shit. Right. Had to find out on the my game is to home. be sold and not told. Okay, so there's a 26 year old woman <laughs> from Baltimore. <laughs> Skip over that. Yeah, already from, like. from um. Oh no, I don't want to read that one. I don't want to talk about that one. I want to talk about the dick cutting. <laughs> oh, there it go. Uh, yeah. The so no wait. Why we got to talk about dick cutting? What, what, what's that? I would want to cut a nigga dick. For what? I don't know, just to see how it feels. Well, why did this bitch cut his dick? Okay, so it says an Argentinian woman has been sentenced to 13 years in prison for cutting off a man's penis because he shared their sex tape. That's all I'm worth. The woman... (laughs) I know I didn't gave her more than 13 years worth of dick, and we was married. It didn't say they was married. Oh, well, I just figured. It just said 13 years in prison. I just equated the 13 years (laughs) to the relationship because that's the same. The marriage is the same as prison. It made it seem like they were going to have sex (laughs) when instead she cut off 90% of his penis and one of his testicles. (laughs) Using pruning shears. First of all, she's a, she's a, She's a terrible bitch. She's no. a she's the worst kind. She only cut ninety percent of his nigga dick, so he still got walk around with ten percent dick. <laughs> you know how fucking mad I'd be. I got a clit. You gonna have one too? <laughs> now he just sitting here thing, like this. Though. She's cut. It says that she cut his uh one yeah, of his listen, testicles it says, it using says, shears. It says that he showed the video to his friends without her, her consent. Of her Technically, the dick he in the video. No, 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 no. no. Of, of, of the sex, of tape. The sex oh. tape. Technically, plain devil's advocate. Come he was in now, the video. Still. All right, so if you was sucking the juices out my ass, you'll want me to sit there and show it to people because yes. you're in the video. 
What about you? That also sell. That's that's also. I ain't saying like, nothing. I do. Yeah, that's so, a fact. What I want it to be shown? Hell no. No, I, I want it to be shown. Seen, you know, I'm not gonna be like that. Ain't me. I would stand with pride. Duh. Yeah. How you gonna say it's not you, <laughs> nigga? We see it's we, you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you know stuff. Niggas lie. Nigga will watch himself in video. That's not me. I mean, I can see where you say that look like me, but that ain't me. It's video shop. It's vi- what R. Kelly shop. said? What he said? I don't know how they did the video. I don't know how to talk. you killing me with this bullshit. Man, so Star, what the fuck? She cut his half his balls off with scissors. You know how balls are made. Can you imagine somebody taking a pair of scissors I don't scissors know how balls ball? are made. Oh, you know how balls are you made. You know how, how they made. made. How they made, shaped. Oh, now, imagine, I thought you mean like, oh, so how they look and how yeah, they hang and all, yeah. that and all that. So imagine taking this pair of scissors. Okay, and I have a question. For, I wish we was live. I have a question for the ladies. When y'all nigga hitting it from the <laughs> back, do y'all like when the balls is like slapping on y'all click when it's long enough to do that? Sometimes I like it, but sometimes that shit hurt. Like that shit hurt me. So I know <laughs> that gotta hurt y'all. I'm like. That what shit kind of hard booty bitches you fucking it didn't hurt you. Look, no, when just you behind no, 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 I'm, I'm not talking about when it's hitting. Middle. I'm not talking about when it's hitting the ass because it's, <laughs> it's not when it's hitting. I'm talking I'm, about underneath, hit that like swing. hitting that click. I know <laughs> exactly. I know exactly what you're talking about. Hit that right there. Like, oh shit! That ain't, you got to slow your stroke up. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> fucked around. I got a hernia from a bitch. Like, <laughs> fuck around now. I got testicular cancer. I'm fucked up now from this bitch. Get get. Cause I, cause you said harder. So you don't stupid. like, y'all don't like how that feels. I have a question. Y'all don't like how that feels. Sometimes I do. You feel me? If I li- probably if I you know lick my finger, touch my clit a little, yeah. make it all wet. Get in the mood. Yeah, but then, but sometimes I don't. It hurts sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, that shit don't. That yeah, shit sometimes, hurt. sometimes. It hurt. I ain't gonna hold y'all. And, Look, and niggas be trying gas shit. Yeah, that shit hurt. Sometimes that shit hurt. I'm not gonna even hold you. Sometimes I don't be wanting to fucking feel your fucking balls hitting me like. Nigga, I just want to get hit. I don't want to get hit twice. Like you, okay. I just want to get hit. I don't want to get hit twice. So, let me ask y'all: What's the craziest thing y'all have ever did in a relationship? Say I love you. Be in a relationship. Ooh, Shit. good point. Being in a relationship is some, is some self massacre shit. That is some insanity shit. All right, so shit. I beat a nigga mother up. You beat some time I, I put time out, sugar time in a nigga tank. That's corny. Sugar tank, yeah, we all did that. Who ain't had sugar in a tank? Right, but you, you beat, beat somebody. You beat somebody. The, the person that brought them in the world or they stepmother? No, they mother. They, their guardian? Like the, the woman that the carried one that them put, for nine yes, months. the one that pushed them the fuck out. And you put hands and feet on this woman. Yes. Let's walk Why? through this. Let's, let's unpack this. So Because he was getting on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know the thing is, I feel like certain, you know, it's some moms. I don't know, maybe y'all moms like that who be feeling like they fuck their son so they could say certain stuff to you. Or, you know, I just don't like to tolerate no disrespect yeah. from nobody. Especially because if my mom have an issue with my man, she's never going to tell him. Like, she'll come to me and be like, yo, you need to talk to your nigga. You feel me? Because I, 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 she's not going to ever feel like she's going to disrespect somebody else's child because that's somebody else's child. You understand? And she would never want somebody to disrespect me. But these mothers... Be feeling like cause you with they son, you feel me? I don't know what it be. I don't know if they want to fuck they son, if they feel like they son is not gonna do for you know do nothing for them no more, or take care of them because now they got a bitch. But I'm just not with the disrespect. So let's talk about the day it actually happened. Uh, excuse me. Okay. I'm glad it was that in. Yeah, because I'm trying. I'm yeah, so I'm trying. glad it was that in. Yeah, it could have been ugly. I got this Lysol t- spray though. So just we take the you. burp instead of the fart. Because I'm telling you, I asked Alex the other day. No, don't want to hear the room up. Mm-mm. You say you shit three times a day. I know that shit gonna stink. <laughs> <laughs> you know, regular shits. You know, if she fart and don't and it don't stink, you be worried. Because that means she only shit about once a week. All right, that means that reservoir tank is full. No, but you know what's so funny? That's septic. <laughs> I only, my farts only stink when I have to take a shit. It's yeah, not, yeah, that like, means it's good. That, that means that body working. Stink, I don't give a yeah. fuck. But yes, let's, let's unpack this. So the day you beat this man mother what up, what happened? About? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so <George. laughs> I want to hear about this. I need to know what connected I will say this, though. Like, my mama would never even put herself on the level with nobody else and the way you do that is by how you conduct yourself so I actually understand what you're saying because my mama wouldn't be arguing or going back and forth with nobody that I was kicking it with like I remember okay for instance I remember the mom right said she was like like basically she felt the way that I was gangbanging but your son is gangbanging your son sleeps on your couch your son doesn't have a car your son didn't even finish high school I would have she should have been thanking you wait hold on (laughs) I got a car. I live by myself. Been finished high school. 
got my associate. You understand? I got so, so how you like what you looking at me down at me when it's like bitch like your son don't have nothing like he's comfortable sleeping on your couch. He's comfortable not having a car. Like I have all that. You make it seem like the nigga's gonna come here and make me no bitch. I'm gonna make him. Like you understand? If anything, I'm gonna make him better. So like certain stuff like she was trying to be disrespectful. I just I'm just not with the disrespect. Like what's just, what's some what's the most disrespectful thing she did? Um, let me think. Okay, one of the disrespectful things, like, like I don't know, a lot of the stuff wasn't said to me. It'll say she'll say it to him, and he'll say it to me, and Why that's where niggas fuck, fuck up too, Stupid. because niggas be yeah, you know, niggas to tell you like yeah, my mother said this, and it's like, oh, that you boy will never know said, what, what my mama said. Me? Like you feel me? Like what that bitch said about me? But it was just that was one of the things that made me feel away, especially because I feel like when. We and him was just first getting together. She was on my dick, hard body. Like, you know, always hitting my phone, asking me if I'm good, inviting me over. You should have like, knew she was crazy then. Yeah, like doing stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's weird as hell. Who, what new mama? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like real inviting me over, having me around her kids. I remember her kids got into some shit in the school. I had I went there and got the kids for her, all types of shit. Like, but then. Oh, no, that's she, regular hood shit. That's, that's shit. Yeah, regular shit, yeah. yeah. But then once she seen that he started it was for, falling it was for, for me. Real? She did not like me no more. Like, you feel me? Like, at all. And it's like, bitch, you don't got to like me. Like, you not my mother. <laughs> like You not my a, mother. I don't give a fuck who likes me. Like, you ain't my mother. You don't have to like me. Like, but you're going to respect me. You're not going to disrespect <laughs> me. So, I don't know. I just feel like moms with their sons is like certain yeah, moms. Yeah, certain moms it's are like real overbearing. Really yeah. old, like, and I think it's also because they be feeling like most sons take care of their mom. Especially if they out in the street. You understand? They they doing everything. Paying their mother bills. I be feeling like they feel like eventually that's, that's going to stop. Threaten, yeah. uh, Duh, I'm in the picture. It is gonna stop. Like, why? Like, get your own man. man you <laughs> like, shouldn't need it no damn way. Like, get, yeah, like you are. You the parent. But then I hate parents also, and I'm glad my parents isn't one of these that reap the benefits. But then when something happened, they're quick to judge you or quick mm-hmm. to be like, "Oh, you should never did that. Yeah, why you yeah, did this?" Yeah. Da, da, da. When it's like, bitch, you know for a fact he wasn't having no job, paying your rent, paying his rent. Buying you bags, getting this. So you, where you thought that money? So you knew, you, knew, you can't you play know, both sides. You know where that money was coming from, bitch. I hate parents that's like that. Like, don't come and reap the benefits, and then when something happened, because me, my parents, when they were, huh, something happened, they was just like, all right, so this is what we are gonna have to do. Right. You know, just like, roll with the punches because yeah. you already decided to roll with the they, life. They already know, like my, and it's one thing too, like it's certain people in my family who would not accept no type of money from me. Because they knew where it was coming from. You understand? But then there's some people who knew. So they accepted it and they didn't give a fuck. And they're not going to tell me nothing when it's time. So some of the people who had a problem with it, when they were, you know, tell me, oh, yeah, you shouldn't have did that. I'll listen. Because they wasn't with the shits. You feel me? They didn't want none of my bread. They knew where it was coming from. But the people who did was asking for some bread. It's like, fuck you, bitch. You can't tell me shit. Like, give me that bag then. Like, you feel me? Because that's... (laughs) I remember I got that. <laughs> like, and I know how I got it. And I know you know how I got it. You Allegedly. know, and that's most important. <laughs> you know how the fuck I got it. But what's the? I really want to know what's the craziest things y'all ever did. Okay, what's where's the craziest places you ever had sex at, Dustin? A church. What? Oh I don't give a fuck about God. no damn church, no way though. All that shit is business and bullshit. So I'm not trying to be disrespectful to how nobody's faith, but like that building <sighs> don't mean shit to me. So and it was it was a new church. It ain't like it was like a, <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't yeah, 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 yeah you know what I'm saying? I didn't feel bad. It wasn't no stained glass and shit. It was so like, tell you know, me details. How did this happen? Where was I it? got invited to come to uh I got it wasn't invited. even your fucking church. No, I don't, well, it makes uh, it all better. Because at least you ain't doing it in your home church where it you does. got christened and your parents Long still go. Long short, I got invited to an event that took a place youth at night. a person's church. The youth it event. Wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> youth explosion. <laughs> you know they're good for a youth explosion. Jamboree. <laughs> nah, but like, I got invited to an event. Um, it was like an evening was event. Was this in New York or Flint? It was in New York. Oh, you um, did this in my fucking town? Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, this turn, nigga, if it's ever been a place nasty. where church didn't matter, it was New York. <laughs> Oh wow! He's so disrespectful. But no, so but you know what? To give you to be to be specific, it was in Jersey. So it was while oh, yes. I was living oh, yeah. here, but it was across. Who gets, yeah, yeah. Okay. we gonna okay. blow okay. New Jersey so, up. You know, okay, it yeah. was New Jersey. So right. you know, but anyway, it was why, since I've been living here in New York. Uh huh. So I got invited to an event. You know, it was at a church, <laughs> um, and the person that invited me, uh, you know, we basically it was a. They were. How can I say this without saying it? You might as well just say it. So they were... Um, that was a... F- you know you were going for a booty call? No. 
I knew that I knew the nature <laughs> of our relationship it was just with some booty call. But shit. I didn't know that I didn't know that that was gonna happen, which is why it happened because it was run though. So yeah, you know, this is true. Hey, so how did, but I need to know what was the lead in like, hey. No, well, the lead in is really me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I smell good and shit. Right. So I kind of like just bring out them fucking pheromones or whatever that uh-huh. shit is. So once I had synced my hooks in, it really didn't matter what four walls we was in. Oh, my the God. The church bells was ringing. And so. You know it, what? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, so, but that was, I guess that oh would be God. it if, you know, if it's something like racy, like, ooh, we wasn't supposed to do that like that. That was cr- that's yeah. crazy. What I got I- my dick sucked on the sky ride at Six Flags too. Oh, that's regular. Yeah, that's right. Re- you got to do that. You know what's so funny? I I don't have no crazy experience. <laughs> my crazy experience. My craziest experience is I got my pussy in in the movie theater. That fucking was you. You was fourteen. That's some eighth grade shit. <laughs> no, 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 that, that, no. <laughs> <laughs> As a young movie theater pussy eater, uh, <laughs> uh, speak on it. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's an effort involved because she got to take. If, if she got, if she had on them Abercrombie jeans, you had to get. The, it depend on if the armrests go up. Or right, not. what kind of jeans you had on? Cause that that'll explain it. I had on a skirt, Duh. a denim skirt, a uh, school uniform skirt. Because you had to be, you had to be under eighteen when this happened. She had on one of them Catholic skirts. <laughs> <laughs> From cookies. Yeah. <laughs> nah, my nigga, I'm about to dead ass fuck you up. Don't play me. One of them cats. Nah, the I know show. it's so funny because our dead ass was older than 18. <laughs> nah, son. What kind of adult shit? This is not happening like Star this. Star Brim. Because you, you a grown ass man. You gotta All right, get... No, matter of fact, I think, no, yeah, I was. I was working at Target and it was the nigga who used to come swipe at my, my register. Uh huh. And it's so funny because he really thought he was going to slap. And it's like, no, boo-boo. Like, you just gonna, you just put... I, you know what's so funny? I looked at him so funny because I just met you. This is my first time chilling with you and you just automatically eating pussy. That means you eat mad bitches pussy. That's just how I felt. So I just, like, never would take you serious because it's like, you don't even know me. The fuck? I don't be wanting to take you don't even know. Serious. You don't even know how my pussy look. It's dark in here. Like, That's true. You don't know what you eat. It could be you don't know what you eat. I gotta, I gotta hear both sides. <laughs> As a nigga that likes to eat pussy, I gotta hear both sides. Cause a nigga could just been like, you know what? I fuck with her vibe. Like, she deserved to have her pussy in. So like, there's been days I Yo, see. Yo, bro, a b- I don't even know that nigga name. It don't. <laughs> you're not, you on yes, your you side. Do. You're not Jawbone. supposed to. All <laughs> well, I know is that he was you going for the you. shot. You know that nigga name? Uh, the Johnson's Family Reunion. Yeah. Uh, Medea gets a pussy. In. Whatever movie I was watching. It's so funny. That's and I used name. to see him all the time after that. Come to my job, and you know, swiping. And I used to just be looking at him like nasty cornball. <laughs> look, at, look at this See I, this is what I want to understand. Y'all are shaming us For Corn bringing ball. pleasure Cornball So Okay what about you Uh shit Um I mean movie theaters But when I was young Uh the but craziest. at Adele Yeah Who album release party was that Mars gotta be careful He got a girlfriend So he can't really Yeah but you asked him that. before So But he still You better answer right I'm not pussy. Um, <laughs> okay. I'm trying to think. Okay. I'm, like, I'm not pussy. Okay, okay oh, motherfucker. Oh, oh, I'm trying oh, to think. Okay, gangster. Rick Ross. Um, Rick Ross. Um, what oh, album was that? What, oh, what album was that? Never gonna invite you again. Oh, oh what album was it? It's not God. It's release. not this one. It's between. Was it Master? Mastermind. Was the that one with Sanctified on it? Mastermind at that album release where it was all the. I'm sitting there and I kept seeing like you know they had them little <laughs> bottle girls or whatever. I kept looking. I'm like, Yo, I know it from somewhere. So I just start acting like I knew it from somewhere. Mind you, this bitch following me on Twitter. So I'm just chatting up, chatting oh, it was up. Twitter, it was a Twitter for Yeah, I'm saying chatting up. And I'm like, that's why I know you from Twitter. She's like, yeah, I was waiting for you to recognize me, blah, blah, blah. I said, oh, word. People actually recognize people from Twitter? Hell yeah. If you talk to somebody long enough, probably, yeah. And so we talking. I said, I ain't even going to hold you. You look good as hell. Like, nigga Rick Ross had all them bitches looking beautiful that night. I was like, ah, fuck the shit out of you right now. She was like, no, you, you won't. You said that to her? On my mother. I'm like, ah, fuck the shit out of you right now. You're like, leave me alone. Like, for real. She was like, what you got to wait for? I said, that bathroom right over there. They went in the handicap stall. <laughs> did, you, did you use a condom? <laughs> no. You was dirty. I did it. Oh I, I didn't have one. what you say? God forgives. I know. <laughs> It's a mastermind. <laughs> <laughs> Sanctified is on the album. Oh, my fucking God. I prayed after. I ain't going to hold you. I prayed, though. I bet you did. <laughs> kind of like. Fuck this bitch probably practice. Everybody pray after that kind of sex. Look, oh cause my God. you know you be sitting there, you like, you be feeling, you be like, this bitch pregnant. I know she pregnant. 
that's the award. That's the worst thing that you be thinking. You're yeah. not thinking about nothing else. See, my dick gonna fall. I'm gonna or, die. I'm gonna no, because if I catch like, something, I'm gonna die. Having a baby way worse because like, he here forever. Either way, it's a death sentence. Wow, so that's all you got? You fucked in a bathroom at a yeah, party? You, you lame. You're, you're lame. You lame. You're, you're lame. so lame. I expected so much more from you, Mom. I really did, too. What y'all think of me? Like, <laughs> we think? friends. What you mean? Yo? <laughs> what the fuck you mean? What we think of you? I mean, but that's what I think is crazy. Like, maybe other people might think, like... I think everybody think that I'm out here just having the craziest fuck shit, like... No, nah, you don't come off. Now, like all that. I do is, like... I think on you Instagram, You come off like you would be maybe. like that with your man. Like, if you, like, in a relationship, you would go It's so funny because I never way. had, like, a person that... And y'all could Google, like, ask <laughs> about the whole facts. You feel me? P- pull up the whole facts. Right. I never fucked a nigga that wasn't my nigga. Yeah. Like... I remember I fucked one nigga and he wasn't my nigga, but then he became my nigga. So like, it you don't count. yeah, like you understand? But I never had a nigga that was just like a one night stand. I'm not saying like it probably would never happen. You understand? But it hasn't happened. I never had like a one night stand. I never had a nigga that I just fucked and that's it. Like I don't know. I think because I'm so emotional too, I have to be feeling you. Like my pussy will not get wet if I'm not into you. Like. Yeah, those the wor- yeah, those the worst. You gotta stay. You gotta stay away from women like that. They start talking like they. All right, bye, yeah, bye. I'm, I'm gonna, no fun. No busy. fun. Get off my phone. No fun. You made my, like, my dick not even hard now. Bye. Get I like off that my energy. Phone. That energy that happens before a one night stand when you meet somebody and that chemistry is just it's like, just fresh. And you just it's that like, like it's yeah, that rush. It's like, like going that. down the um. How does it feel when you be really working so hard, right? Here to she try go. to get. Dusty, you know what? Go ahead, yeah, baby. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just, you know, yeah. It's I'm miles. just like, yeah. no, I'm it's over fine. him. I know. It's I'm okay. Tired it's okay. You know, him. his shoes got them things in and make him stand up straight. I'm tired. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. I'm tired of this motherfucker. One of Anyways, his shoes got a thing in it to, to make him balance. I wanted to know how does it feel, right? Mm-hmm. To like when you finally, finally fuck the person that you wanted to fuck and that shit is trash. I don't know because I'll be picking yeah. winners. I've never, I said, had, I never had that experience. I'll be picking winners. I've had bad sex, but it hasn't been. I it wasn't no. I wasn't or, anticipating or, or like, it. Or like you, you. It was the sex was good, but the pussy was so so it was stink. Never, never. They ain't never happened to me. Hell no. I now be there was one on Instagram all the time. Like, damn, that bitch pussy was mad stink, and it's like, what? first of all, uh. Yeah, that's like I, another support group. Besides, Fucking dirty uh, bitches. You don't know sometimes. You are, but then sometimes know. you know. You honestly don't know. Like, if, I have, if a I bitch have, got hangnails, she no, 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 dirty. No, I have had friends. I, listen, I have had friends, like oh, friends, nails. bitches that. <laughs> no, if a bitch real, got I, hangnails, listen, stop. I didn't have bitch. Listen, I had friends that was my um, that was like that stunk, and you would not know. Like, and it's so funny. One of my, one of my, like she's not my friend no more. One of my old friends. <laughs> bitch, she ain't. Listen, one of my old friends. Listen, I used to watch her shower. She will shower, bro, and come out and just have an odor in a way. It would not be like stink, but it would be stink. It would, pH yeah. balance was yeah, off. It, I don't even think it was pH because it wouldn't only be there. It would be her. I felt like she probably had too much testosterone. You understand? And not enough estrogen. Like, I don't know. Like, you know, because you know the She smelled like a nigga? She got yeah, some dumb but secret. not in a, in a <laughs> Good way, not in a dog. good way. And thing no, is, she used, to, listen, she, used to, she used to have to like shave her beard. She used to catch, get a beard, and she used to get like hair on her chest. Like I really felt like she just had too much testosterone because you understand. Yeah, because but I don't think that would affect the odor. No, Maybe what? the hair and shit, but not the odor. It had it to. Why? Because if you smell like, like balls, a, yeah, you gonna smell like a, you gonna smell masculine. We don't stink. You stink. I don't stink. Hell, but so what we, the but fuck we shower a lot. I'm not gonna lie. It's some. It's some niggas who stink. N- niggas. Well, I know. All right, somebody. look. Look at it like this. Go to the gym. Yeah. It's stinking there. Yes. Oh, D stinking. Because there. niggas is in there working out, and sweating. Some, and some it's just a natural. Shower. Yeah, but they're also exerting rigorous physical activity. They are just That's walking around point. smelling like That's that. Very good. Point. So what I'm saying some is, who do walk but I, you, like that. I know somebody who was notoriously musty, and I can firsthand say I've seen them go into shower. the bathroom, take a shower. That's what I'm saying. Come out and still come out be musty. and still be musty. Like I used to watch her shower, and the thing is, she had have like so much, you know, feminine products, like you know, all the smell goods and stuff. She would just <laughs> have. That I'm smell. sorry. I just never forget my friend was like one, Yo, time, so- one time we was all out of town <laughs> and my friend was like, I mean, he just took a shower. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Like some people just have that smell. And it's like <sighs> smell like they got a lot on their mind. What they say on Martin, your baby, your breath smell like you got a lot on your mind. <laughs> you wanna talk about it? What's going on? Actually, don't. <laughs> 
because you know if your body stink, that breath can't be too far behind. No, no. I've met a lot of stinky people, but it, they must know they stink, so they spend extra time brushing their mouth. Well, they need to move. You know, the brush I don't. Like, I hate people who don't brush their lips. Yeah, especially Yo, I don't understand how you don't brush your lips. Like, that was the shit that my parents taught me, so like, I just always... Like, a part of, of the all, program. It's, like, it's a yes, part of the program. Brush, it, like, your gums, the inside of your... your you get tongue, all of that. Your tongue. The roof of your yes, mouth. The roof, I can't get everything. A, like, I judge people. Like, I judge girls. I've dead ass not talked to girls ever again if I go in your bathroom and I see you got the toothbrush without the uh, thing on the back. You yeah, know the, the little, tongue scrubber. The, the tongue yeah. scrubber. If you don't got a toothbrush with that I'm on the back... I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I judge people who don't got the cover on their toothbrush. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah. It depends. Are they in the bathroom? Are they they live by themselves. It also I, I if you live by yourself, I then live by myself, it also I depends. Want, I, still want the, I still want it though. It depends on where the toilet is in proximity and, to the sink, because that yeah. means you've been standing over there peeing, and that splash up, that's nasty. So you it depends. make a, you make a you make a yeah. valid point. I don't know. I just feel like put the fucking cover on it. If you live by yourself, I ain't gonna judge that. If you got roommates and shit, and your two brushes just raw. You know what I'm I hate too? Back. I, you know what I I'm not coming back. What, what that I little boy said? I'm not coming back over here no more. <laughs> you know what I hate too? I hate when somebody like takes a shower at my house or something like that and they leave a lot of water That's around so the soap. That's no, so around nasty. the soap and the soap get wa- yes. soft Wait, and everything so now. How you, how you, all right, so I'm, I may be... Or in the soap you, dish. In the oh, dish. okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about like it's now so much saying. water. Yeah. Why do you do that? Like now, when I go to put the soap on a rag, it's all off. Oh. It's all the soap is off of and it in a way. Nasty, it's nasty. First of all, I just, anything I slimy like that. Is yes, nasty. I just I have so much little pet peeves. Like I gotta have every door closed in my house. Like I don't know. I just don't. I like do that it. too, but that's because I'm churchy. I'm be trying to make sure the spirits don't come in. <laughs> I was fucking up yes, today. Like, I'm probably inviting the spirit. Yes, I close every door. Like my bathroom door, everything has to be off. Oh my everything, god! I, mean, everything I thought I was the only. Be, I thought I, I was the only the one. Yeah. I have to close the doors. I can't have it a little cracked. I just be feeling like the boogeyman gun come. You know what I don't like? What? This water, like in the sink in the kitchen. Like wiping mm-hmm. it dry, like right? For no, like when you get ready to like say you got dirty dishes in the sink or whatever, and you make the dishwater and shit. To me, that's a you don't make the water and leave. Like you make the water, and wash the dishes, and get done, and let that water go. What People you mean that let the, like you know you water get a bowl that you wash the dishes in, yeah. in the sink. You know what I'm saying? Like how you have, you know how some people in their kitchen, they have like two sinks next to each okay, other. Okay, yes. I'm and in one sink those. you wash, right? And uh-huh. in the other sink you rinse. Yes. So in the wash sink, sometimes people will let the water, water like they, they put the stopper in the drain to hold the water in there and have this, the dishes in the hot, sudsy water. You know what I'm saying? And it's cool when you first make it. You watch the dishes keep it moving, but some people are lazy star and they, and they leave the water there. there. And that's one of the nastiest oh. things. To me, it's food old, in the sink, bacon you, scrub, in there. you scrape your plate <laughs> off first in the trash, then you go to the sink. That you whole know, so food funny, in the sink shit. I don't wash dishes without gloves. Yeah. Only if, like, if it's like a, um, like a, a plate, I would do it. But for some reason, if it's a fork, I can't. Or a spoon, because I just feel like it's dry spit on that. I'm weird. No, 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 and that's why you have nice soft hands. Some bitches' hands be looking like, like athletes' I just feel like feet. It, I just feel like it's oh dry. <laughs> oh, so I just why. feel like it's so you know, nasty. The, the visual of seeing somebody's hand looking like foot. LeBron's foot. <laughs> you know funny? I think I have hard hands. You don't. I've been slapping bitches all my life. Yeah, but it's the tuna, it's the tuna and the sock. So it's yeah. like your your hands I don't really was. get messed up. Mm. Now you look like that Hannibal Burris meme. <laughs> Mouse is stupid. Okay, so what? So that's the that's it for the freaky talk. That's the best y'all niggas got. I'm okay, so let's disappointed. See, let's see, let's I feel see. like I'm being hold judged on, right now. On. You are. And I thought my shit was lit. You know, what's so funny. I only sucked three dicks in my life too. That's not funny. That's good. Three dicks. Yes, I can name them, count them. Yeah, only three motherfucking dicks. What made you say yes? <laughs> what made me say that I want to suck the dick? No, what made you say yes to them? Yeah, they didn't ask me. No, what made you internally? Oh, what made me? Okay, yeah, well, like, yeah. um, because those are the people that I actually like. You know, the first person that I ever was the person that I was married to. Of course, you mm-hmm. understand. Congrats to me! I finally got my divorce. <laughs> yes, he can't get my money, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> 
it's all mine. <laughs> Word. <laughs> now everything is going in my name. <laughs> so okay. now I can finally get it and it can't be taken away. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. It's- so, okay, so that's one. Okay, so the and then the two. other people, like, I was just, okay, so the nigga who, who told on me, right? Mm-hmm. I was really feeling him. Like, I was holding him down in jail and all that, right? Mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. the second person that, like, you know, dick I ever sucked. And it's so funny because I didn't like sucking it. Mm-hmm. I like sucking it, but I didn't like sucking it because I felt like his dick was so small. Mind you, if come you look on, at this nigga, on, he's so on. brolic. <laughs> Listen, his dick was so small that I can put his whole dick in my mouth plus his balls <laughs> if I wanted to lick his ass crack. That's how fucking small his dick was. Like when I say it was so fucking, it was it was just like annoyingly small that I used to just be like, oh, you want to come 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 here? Like, I, you, <laughs> like it was just so easy that it's like just bring it here. Just come, come, come. I wasn't scared. Like with the first time I ever sucked dick, like, every time I sucked his dick, I was scared. Yeah, I'm, I'm never like, I'm never letting listen, a bitch suck my listen, dick ever uh, again. No, you're not scared of my shit. <laughs> Yo, we about to fight, nah, bitch. Nah, I used to be scared. Listen, Yo, where's your listen, father? I'm going to nah, snuff him. Nah, I used to be scared because it's like, damn, I got to stick this big old dick in my mouth. Oh, my God, I'm be tearing. I'm going to be gagging. Snot going to come out my nose. Tears going to come out my eyes. With this nigga, it was none of that. It was no gagging, no snot coming nowhere. It was regular. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you done? Uh, like, you feel me? Like, and it was so easy because be he nut, like he used to nut, <coughs> like he used to nut in less than a minute. This Damn. other nigga, that's different. That's head. It, like, head no, different. listen, but for everybody, because the first time that I did it, that nigga, it would take. I, I think probably like two times I ever made him nut off of that. It was just leading to sex. Like, you know, right, right, it would right, never right. just him being able to just nut off a head. It's some people who's you know. They not into that. It's mm-hmm. not gonna let them nut. But it's like I used to be scared. I used to be like, you know, like double dutch, like I'm going in, I'm going yeah. in, I'm going in. Yeah. All right, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. You know, like, <laughs> but with the other nigga, it was like, eh, bring that little thing here. Come here, baby. Wait, but you liked him. Okay, I liked him. You know what's so funny? So I you loved, loved him. him if his dick was that him. little. I was gonna say you no, must no, no, have no, loved no, no, no. that nigga. I loved him in jail. Like, and that's the thing. That's why I feel like uh, I would never meet a person. Like I met him while and he was in. He met him while he was locked him, up. Like, yeah, so okay. when he came home, it was a whole different person. So like, you I had was to already sold him. on the personality, and personality, the, love. the looks. You know, just him the how emotions. it looks, the way he like. Cause you know, in jail, niggas gonna show you a whole bunch of attention and shit like that. And just he wasn't. <laughs> of course, you don't got nothing else to do. <laughs> I was about to say, what else he gonna do? And he, it was like it wasn't the jealousy. It wasn't none of that. Home, the nigga was jealous of girls giving me hugs. Jealous of girls wanting pictures. Like how you a man and you jealous or feel a way about a girl? Want, you understand? Yeah, like, babe, let me take the picture. Yeah, no, upset. Like he'll be mad that people would know him off of being with me. Like, oh yeah, you starboard man, right? I see she used to post. Then he'll be mad because he didn't have his own name. But it's like, uh, sorry, nigga. Like the fuck, like you from Harlem. This is Brooklyn. You can't be walking around Brooklyn and think that niggas ain't gonna know you from me. You like that's from, stupid. I mean... Yeah, like you're not from here. But him, like when, like home wise, hell no. Like I broke up with him in our first two months of him being home. I was with him for like six months while he was locked up. The first two months of him being home, I was like, oh yeah, I don't want to be with you no more. Like I can't, I can't do it. Like I don't even love you no more. Like you know, I love <laughs> to jail you. Like I, don't, I don't love the the yeah. home you and shit. But. And I don't take know, your like, little dick with you. <laughs> yes. No, but listen. Oh my God. I wish. That shit right I wish this was like live so I could show y'all the way that he used to be trying to fuck me. How? Bro. Okay. Like, so like, like, listen. No, so please, listen. Please, so the nigga, right? It. Okay. Please listen. Do it. Listen. So the nigga would be like, hey, right? uh huh. Right? Right? Oh, this camera can see it. <laughs> All right. Look. So the nigga would be like this, right? And he used to be like hitting it from the back, right? Uh huh. So he used to be having like his whole body on me. Uh huh. And I couldn't breathe. <laughs> so I used to be like, yo, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. And I think he used to think that it was sexual. Like like a sexy I, I can't, can't breathe. breathe. I can't, no. no, but that was really the, it was like, the air. No, I can't breathe. Get the fuck off me. I started screaming in the middle. You go to jail. You go back to jail. Yo, where are we, son? Yo, yo, listen. What I had to the listen. Fuck? <laughs> my mom, if she hears this part, she would tell you I had to go. I had to complain to my mother. That compl- his dick was little? Yo, I complained to my mother that his dick was little. He was trying to kill me while having sex, thinking that shit was cool. Like, he thought that, you feel me? He, I didn't, he was I, overcompensating. Okay. He okay. was like over 175 pounds of muscle. You cannot just come, like, le- be on You me. can't just lean. But bro, niggas don't realize I, that when, I not when we fuck five breathe, pounds bro. of muscle and yeah. an ounce of dick. Oh shit! I cannot breathe. Like no funny yeah, shit. Yeah, but when you fuck, like you don't be no. All right, stop. Hard. Stop. Spit to God on my <laughs> life. On my life. On my life. You used to be telling him to shut the fuck up, didn't you? I used to be like, shut the fuck up, little dick. <laughs> little dick, shut up. All right, up, so dick. okay, so this brings okay. This this is giving insight to the community. Yeah. Um, 
So you wasn't pleased with the, so like that afterglow. Oh, well, clearly wasn't an afterglow. And the thing is, <laughs> the like, after this, so ladies, <laughs> let me tell you something. Don't believe the state the greens. So. Don't believe the state greens because I used to go up top and I used to be filling on his dick. You feel me? And the dick felt big in them state greens. Mm. I came it's home. A lot and of, it's a lot and of material. You know, so funny. I didn't have sex for two years because when okay, so when I had my um my husband, right? It took me two years to get over him, like literally yeah, two years, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. He was the next person after that. It's, I didn't have sex for oh, so two this fucking was, years. This shit was brand so I was new. a virgin pussy right now. Right. That. So when I picked him up in a sprinter from the from the you know from the um jail, yeah. we had sex. It was good. The second time we had, because you know we keep having sex, we had sex again in the sprinter. The second time, I'm like, why? Why don't I feel it like that? Like, and I know my shit ain't. It ain't <laughs> me. The, I know it ain't me. What the fuck is going? Oh, and, so why you, and he didn't know how to eat pussy good. It's like, what's all these lies? Like, you know, niggas be saying a whole bunch of like little sex shit on the phone, talking about how they gonna slurp your pussy, eat this. I mean, well, he probably had every intent to. He had intention. <sighs> it was so. He had so, every obligation to look so, as well. that, so so what was yeah that's a fact if hey. you if you know your dick little you got to eat you gotta wild. Try hard. Yes. look I always said that shit but I, the thing is what I feel like some niggas like it's really some niggas out here that these bitches ain't telling them the truth but you, you would be one of them right I do tell so, them the truth so right after sex you would tell them that shit that bro, shit wasn't I, hitting bro I told like he yo it's times when he used to be like you was faking it right and I'd be like yeah <laughs> I swear to God on my dad's life. He used to be like you. You was faking, right? And I used to so be like, the hook, yeah. so so Dustin, the hook comes right over, there, right? You got to keep the that's hook it. over the Hooked eye. Up, you boom. want it to come level, <laughs> yeah. right? Just like that. Yeah, because uh, what you Star. want me to do? Y'all got to Yo. break up. Yeah, you we saved him. Yeah, but you know, so funny. We didn't even break up because of that. We broke up because that nigga had no ambition. Like that nigga was just. So you would have stayed with the look. You cheating on him? Nah, I never cheated in my life. That's what's so funny. I'll break up with you before I cheat. Like fuck. I, first of all, so you was gonna I, stay I can't with just this be nigga? Fucking niggas. Like you feel me? So I'm you like, was gonna stay with this nigga? If and you wasn't pleased if, sexually? Listen, yeah. Your women are. Your women are great. Yes, Black women. I, I definitely would have. Y'all I don't know. crazy. I would have. I would have though if he had if all the other stuff was not as you know crazy as it was and all the other stuff didn't partake like for instance I remember like I gave oh him it was seven, his I mama gave him, I gave him no 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 I gave him seven <laughs> I gave him seven thousand on the come home right okay the nigga did not know how to make money I was trying to help him how to make money the fuck he was he locked up for then drugs oh. but the thing is you locked up ten years ago drugs ain't the same it's no totally more. Like, it doesn't different. sell that yeah, same way yeah. and I'm trying to explain nigga this to nigga trying to come back outside selling trying, purple top he was not trying to hear it and he's looking at me just cause I'm a female and it's like nigga I'm a female that's in the field though like you feel me like I'm trying to push you on like but he's not accepting that because ten years ago niggas is on on it nigga you could ask to buy ten pounds that don't, that don't mean that nigga jumping for you like you feel me like he got other niggas that's gonna sp- buy it too you ain't the only nigga like you feel me so basically long story short real short real, real short <laughs> long story real short oh my God. <laughs> um i pay every i was paying listen i was paying every bill i was paying 2500 for the crib everything i was paying yeah. every bill groceries yeah. everything like anything you can think of little necessities to pay little little necessities. i was about to say was you doing petty shit when you bought groceries like mad eggplants mad cucumbers no <laughs> Right. <laughs> Mass squash. No. Buying him the little short bottles of water. The little short bitty bread. bottles of water. No. What kind of cookies you get? It's Girl Scout short. cookies. What you want? Whole short bread. It's a little bread. Debbie yeah. shit. Yeah. You get the short bread uh-huh. cookies. No, listen, let me tell y'all what the motherfucker did, right? The motherfucker, I said, oh, let me get $200 for the cable bill because I knew he had the bread, right? I knew he had it this time. He ain't hold out. Bro, he told me he didn't have it. So, you know, at this point, I was mad about mad other shit. I just felt like, you know, he was just like a low life. I just didn't want to be with him. I started packing his shit. So I started putting his shit in, pa- in plastic. As soon as he said, nah, I don't got it, I said, oh, all right, cool. I started packing his shit. He like, yo, what you doing? I'm like, oh, you got to go, boo-boo. <laughs> like, you got to get the fuck. You know the nigga started going in his pocket like, nah, 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 hit, hit. Oh, so you was lying. Are you fucking, like, first, you think I'm going to be like, oh, okay, and take that and, and start putting your stuff back in the no, drawer? you on your way out. No, boo-boo, I'm I, take took this that, I took that and, keep and still was packing. Fuck you talking about, get the fuck out, like. Niggas is crazy. Niggas is grimy. Y'all the grimiest motherfuckers in the world. I don't world. know. I, y'all are. Like, y'all, not, y'all have no love. Uh, white women. White women are way worse than niggas. White women is... is white women or white men? White, white women. women. White women is the worst. It starts really white just, women. I just really... I don't have no beef with white women. I just don't like white cops. Where do you think cops came from? White women. <laughs> and they are it. white women, even re- the men. Yes, I just, hate, I just hate, you know, the white cops. But other than that, I don't know that much white people. Keep it that it's, way. It's 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 a it's, blessing. <laughs> it's a blessing. <laughs> and it's those. You know, I have people. I actually got 
did um Alex tell you? I actually got an email complaining about you. Oh, nah, Alex didn't tell me. Yes. Good. Tell from, me suck my a, dick. No, don't say that. She's a <laughs> fan. She, from a white from a white woman. Oh, she's a white oh she's a white woman? Yes. And she's your fan? Yo, yes. suck my dick. Oh my god. Fuck wrong what with you. What did the email yeah, say? Yeah, what did the Stop. email say? Okay. Yo, read the email. I let me read the email. Can I read it in my voice? No. I want to read the email. I responded back to her. I cannot wait to hear this email. But I responded back wait, to her. Wait, would you respond back? Way. You threw me under the bus. So I was like, first of all, I just want to apologize for him. <laughs> <laughs> she wrote back, me too, girl. <laughs> me too. <laughs> no, okay, she said this. <laughs> she said, <laughs> and I didn't even ride on white people that hard last week either. She said, hey, Star, I've been a fan of your podcast since day one. Hold on, let me go to action. Bitch, it's six episodes. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a fan for a week. Oh, my God. Day one. It's literally a week, six Stop. days. Stop. Hold on, let me find it. Fucking I gotta find it. I gotta find fucking it. Fucking cracker bitches. I swear oh for my God. God. Wait, so hold on. <laughs> I've been a fan since day one. It is day two. Right. We just got here. <laughs> oh, so God, I'm gonna find her. Cause I wanna I want y'all to see my response too. It's just always funny to me that they feel like they can complain about production related things. Like we gonna change like yo, like, that's I don't give a fuck change. how you feel about who I had on my damn show. You listen, stupid. No. You listen for a whole hour and some change. Guess who ain't listening? Me, the person you, the person you got problem with, he don't care. And if you thought it was bad last week, now that we know you complaining, (laughs) it's on, bitch. (laughs) Yeah, I would, I would like to refer to you by name, spirit. (laughs) (laughs) I'm trying to find her. I think. So are we? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, we really trying to find her. I hope she's from Dakota. (laughs) <laughs> oh, she from Montana. Like I, Minneapolis. I like, I like pissing off them white people from like real white people places. Oh, really? I don't like pissing Idaho. off white people. Yeah, like that. Like flyover states. Vermont. I hate pissing off white people from New York. I'm like, oh, man, shut up. White people from New York is mad cool. Yeah. Got to hear, hear both sides. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I found her. I Come found on, her. what's she her. say? Okay. Cracker oh, bitch says. She deleted the convo, but I got it because I sent it to Alex. Boom. So, yeah. You thought. Yeah. You fucking thought. So she said, Hey, Star, I've been a fan of your podcast since day one, and I listen to every episode. It's six. Wednesday to your. <laughs> it's fucking six of them. Shut up. Laugh. I even wrote you. I even wrote. I even wrote into you previously on the gram and to your email, ask Star Brim to compliment how well you and Dustin vibe together uh, and kill you. this podcast together. But I have to say, as a Caucasian female listening to your podcast today, I was very upset. I think it was very inappropriate and detrimental to you and your podcast for Mouse Jones to go in there to express <laughs> is. Negative, she put his real big. His negative feelings and opinion towards white people. You have people listening in 50 countries, the UK, United States, and are some of the biggest countries in the um, biggest cities in the countries. I believe if he wanted to put an opinion out there like that and came off hateful and full of grudge, he should use his own podcast for and not use I yours do. as a platform. I do. It made me uncomfortable to listen to because. <laughs> because it made me feel absolutely unwelcoming even to future even to listen to future episodes. I do not judge people on anything but their character and for Mouse Jones to make such statements over someone else's past experience and to say such things as if even he was a little white he'll be upset when we are here supporting you, <laughs> you, cheering, you are, cheering you on is disheartening to say the least. That's uh, what's that name? I'm not saying. Her. Come on, what's her name? Star, you you Star, you gonna pick a white bitch over All right, me? I'm just gonna say her first name is Amber. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> of course. Amber, I would like this time to just uh let you know. You got the donkey of the day now. <laughs> <laughs> you can suck my dick. Don't say that to Amber. No, no, I take that back. I don't want no white woman sucking my dick. That shit happened once and I was bamboozled. Um, so I will never invite you to do such a thing again. But I will let you know that I don't give a fuck what you think. And if you had a hard time listening to last week. <laughs> Bitch, let me First make you more uncomfortable. Who the fuck do you think you are oh, that no, you can write it right into anybody's goddamn show and tell them what to say or what to not say? Right. And bitch, if you was offended, then it might a hit dog or holler. Every single motherfucking and time. So so you must have been the people that he was talking about. Damn sure was. So you can take that mm-hmm. and your feelings mm-hmm. and go on about your business. It's, this could be a lot worse. We're going to be kind because I don't give a fuck room. what a white bitch think about Mouse This Jones. ain't really even got nothing to do with her being white. This has to do with her being stupid. And how I typical. found it. I let 
do got a little bit. Okay, it says. Yeah, it's typical. Okay, all right. So I wrote, understandable, but everyone's open to their own opinion. I don't have those same feelings, but it's freedom of speech. And I don't feel anyone can tell me what to say. So I don't tell anybody what to say. It's not scripted. So whatever is said, is said off the top of our heads. No, I don't hate all white people, but I don't even know that much white people to hate all white people. Like, <laughs> at the end of the day. Thank you, Star, for keeping it a I guess, I said, at the end of the day, that's his feelings and he has the right to speak on his feelings. She said, yes, you're right. I appreciate your honesty and letting me see things from a different point of view and a bigger picture. We're all entitled to our opinions, but sometimes it makes me so sad to think what people have gone through to have so much anger in their hearts for strangers. All we can do is to continue to be better. She mad and at you. you on Wednesday. She know you? I don't know. This bitch you got like angry she- your heart towards mouse and he a stranger that and bitch, furthermore you think like it's hell he... because you don't see nothing from no different point look, of view because you went straight back to and bitch you need to say point. thank you because Star at, wouldn't Star at, didn't at, read your other letter she listen, read the letter about me dumb listen, bitch at, ex- <laughs> you welcome I didn't even read look she wrote other stuff and I never wrote I never respond because I opened everything but once she, <laughs> she used the white yes, emoji hand yes the white emoji hand <laughs> 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 listen she wrote back again the next day she wrote back again the next day and said you know Star I thought about this more and you are absolutely right yes everyone is entitled to speak their opinion and allowed to speak it if that's the way Mouse Jones feels that's she, the way he feels he has name. a right to speak that I know you are chasing those bags and trying to be a better you and even though I messaged you and expressed my feelings and you messaged me back saying that's not how you feel Every Caucasian in the world isn't doing that. I just don't want someone else's views on your podcast affecting your spot on the charts or affecting your success. And that was my message because we are all rooting for you. Well, I I listen, I said, I think I had clearly said that I don't hate all <laughs> white people. I don't even know that much. So if people isn't going to listen because of him speaking his mind, then my podcast isn't the posi- podcast they need to listen to. But thank you for rooting for me. The fact that she thinks, like, that's that's like, the entitlement of like, white people. Like, like they like, like to tell you how I. many times. She told you 13 times that we rooting for you. Like, bitch, if you wasn't rooting for me, <laughs> I, my shit wouldn't be cooking still. And but suck, suck it's, a dick. It's, it's a simple fact that if anybody here speaks their opinion and it stops people from listening, then this ain't the podcast for you because everybody's going to speak their opinion here and everybody's going to sit there and say how the fuck they feel. Suck an age gonna, dick, Ain't Amber. nobody going to hold their tongue. Like, yeah, this and, ain't, and, this ain't, and this you ain't got it podcast. fucked up. It's a million podcasts out there. She Go got it fucked up because you can speak your opinion in here if you sit in these chairs and on this show. But don't nobody give a fuck about your opinion <laughs> about this show. Who the fuck are you? And for and the she, record, I would she, never write into nobody's Instagram. show. As just, she should. It's called, it's called Instagrammer now. That's when they delete it. But the message is still there. Of course she did. How white. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. Sounds though. about white. Like, like, <laughs> like, I would just, I just would never do, I would never send a note to somebody's show about production related issues. Maybe it's different for I me because I don't understand nothing. this shit. Yeah. I don't, I, you I know just, what the thing is? I don't say nothing about anybody's lifestyle. Like, I just, I just don't wouldn't. be giving a fuck because yeah. that's you. As long as it's not affecting me Why should I care? Why should I care? Listen, there's a million things that I see on a gram and I just be like what the fuck I don't even comment who cares unless I have a good comment I don't not even say I never say no bad comments because I don't give a fuck I don't really you understand like unless you really unless comment. you comment on my shit then it's like I'm gonna say some bad comments yeah. fucking lit. but yeah it's lit <laughs> but I don't go on people page and be like what the fuck are you wearing and what is this and you're wilding and those people, people scare DMs. me those people scare me like the people that have um Bumper that's stickers. Weird as fuck. Like if you got bumper stickers, like <laughs> yeah, you too committed. Weird. Amber probably got one. Amber got she mad hate, bumper stickers. I hate, that cow in the house pissing stickers. on a Chevy. No, symbol. you know she got she got a um she got kids a, on uh, board. She got a kids on board. <laughs> kids on or, board. Or she got like a Hillary twenty. <laughs> she got a Hillary twenty sixteen. <laughs> she got the kids on board. <laughs> like that shit scares me. Like. Why are you so committed? <laughs> you see those? To you. I hate those shit to kids on board. That shit make me want. To, that shit sound like a target, don't that it? That shit blows my like, because it's like nigga, we can oh. see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, mine ain't. <laughs> <laughs> like that shit blows my that kids on board. You are one. so stupid. Or or my like, bitch, child, you... my child is number one yeah. in this school and that. And school Yo, I ain't gonna and... hold you. Growing up, I used to write on people that. cards like, no, they not. Right. Like it'd really? be like, oh my number oh, my one God. mom. I'll cross it out. Be like number two. Like I, I used to violate people. Call like, number one and put yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> my motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. I'm so oh well. Yes. Fuck you, Amber. Oh my god. Fuck you. Whatever. Since you listen, whatever to every iOS product you listening on, you probably got an iPhone four. 
You probably was mad excited when they said they bring back the iPhone and 4. And what did you think? You was going to write that iPhone email. 4? They said they bringing it back. She what thought she one? was going to write that email. And y'all one. niggas was going to be like, what? You know what? Well, damn. Well, let me go make a disclaimer. Let me take last week's episode off. Like, what did you think was going to happen? Wait, you, what? Amber, what did she think? The we can do that? What did, no. Yeah, you, well, can, you can technically, but why the fuck? Why would the, I? The real right. wouldn't. So my thing is, what did, what did she think the point of sending that email was going to be? I don't know. Maybe like you know, white the thing people is, really it's not, it's expect not even you a, to listen. Conform. But it's not only white people. Do you know how much people write me things? Pe- it's not people, just it's white people, people. People, period. Oh, fa- oh, fans. Yo, bro. You gotta remember, we don't. People, no, it's like not people the don't fans. like to say the it's word the fans. fans. It's the groupies. It's, it's a not different. even the groupies. It's the weird people. It's the weirdos because you're writing me telling me about you know you're broke. Send you this. Get your teeth done. Get your body done. Your kids is not eating stuff like that. That I just don't care about. Like that's not my issue. That your kids is not eating. That's something that you had. You should deal with because last I checked, I, w- I would get some food I, I send bread to like when people hit me about that shit. I do send the, bread, but, you but know, I, be, be fake, I ain't though. gonna hold you. It be fake. I ain't gonna hold you. I am like welfare. You have to prove it. It be fake. <laughs> I be like, let me see a picture. Of the it be fake. They better look hungry. No, it be fake. <laughs> <laughs> it be fucking fake. I swear to God. Listen, I remember. I've sent bread to people person, who that hit me. Listen, the same person I remember was the same person that hit me and two other people, mm-hmm. and they had three stories, three different ones. I was sent bread. You was sent bread for you know three, why? All you, three if, of these if, stories. If, if I knew, it, like, say, say somebody it's hit us. It's a fake right? story. But the fact, but they committed. The fact they hit me, you, and Dustin. Oh, so you about were it. impressed. I'm yeah. impressed. Okay. I was in the bread. And um, okay, so this is what we gonna do. Me, my friends, and two other people is just gonna hit, hit you. Hit mouse, yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna hit you. You because... see, but that's the thing though. You wow. gotta hope. You gotta hope it's a day I'm opening DMs. Cause them shits just be sitting in there. Oh no, yeah. I don't, you gotta hope it's a day that I'm in my DMs. Lie. I look at every single DM. I just don't open it, but I look at everything. I want to see what these motherfuckers is talking about. Might be some money in there. See, it's the opposite for me. I don't look unless I know. I know you don't look because I be fucking writing. You, you having to? I have to text him. Uh, <laughs> you know, I just DM'd you. Like, welcome to dealing with Dustin. <laughs> What's wrong with you, my he nigga? He just like, started answering on the regular. Like, Dustin like, is a upset, different nigga. Upsets my soul. You know you a damn lie. I, that's the thing. Upsets my soul. I go out of my way to answer y'all asses back. And y'all what be the main ones talking about me. I go way. out of my way to make sure I'm missing you. Yo, you go out your way. Oh, so you, you know entrepreneurial Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> I knew corporate Dustin. This motherfucker, you act like he was the CEO. Hey, bro, I'm I'm, I'm just picking up because I seen your call. I only got five seconds. All right, bye. I'm going to talk to you. Nigga, fuck Damn. you. First fuck all, you in that job. First of all, you know how much he lie. So yeah, let's he start there. Lie okay. When? Yeah, second when? Lie. When? Lie. when? When? Yeah. When I lied? Yeah. When I lied? The point that I'm motherfucking making is that I make sure to answer you all, okay? <laughs> but I don't give a fuck about the <laughs> No, I'm not going to lie. Deals. He has been checking on me lately. Like, now? He has been no, checking he, he, on me he's lately. gotten better. Yes, we said he's that. he's been checking on me. Instead of me having to check, he's been checking on me. See? But I write the nigga something on funny on Instagram or it just be sitting here. Yeah, I follow him on Instagram. He's fucking cute. We have a real connection. Man, fuck y'all real connection. I just want you to know. Yo, Amber, yeah. right back, Amber. I'm agreeing with Amber. Yeah, you, you <laughs> I'm Amber on Amber's side. <laughs> Speaking of Amber, um, shout out to Amber Geiger. Is that her name? The girl oh, who got, that bitch uh, gone. Yeah. You know the white girl, the white cop that shot the black man walked in his, his apartment and shot him and said she walked in the wrong apartment? She thought she walked in her yeah, apartment. Yeah, I seen a meme today that it's crazy that he was 26, never had a um a criminal record, and now he's a criminal and never yeah. even did nothing. And he's the one that got killed in his own nothing. house. How does that work? Like, Look, I just don't all I know, she got she got all found I know guilty that today. bitch got found guilty, and yeah, I didn't think that was guilty. Of Wait, she got found guilty. Guilty, guilty. of murder. So why they Wait, no, but why? Oh, and I'm in Dallas. And I'm in Dallas in two days. Yep. But no, but so but I'm celebrating. I'm throwing a parade. No, but why Man. everywhere kept saying that day that she didn't get found guilty? Everywhere on Instagram was making it seem like oh they're trying to make it. Well, they found her guilty today so i don't right. know when this you is see. new yeah like this was like this literally was today. today we're recording this on a tuesday okay. night so this okay was today. so i think yeah i think this was yesterday that i seen people writing like messages basically saying that she's not gonna like she's yeah they not thought guilty. yeah i'm I didn't sure think she because like the trial I didn't was think going she, yeah. on we so used i to think she's gonna going get found guilty way, either you know? i thought she was because they were trying to make it seem like the guy was a criminal and he's never even had a criminal record so it was like and they were trying to use the thing the um the law where it's like basically like defend your stand your ground but you not you on you ain't in the hell house bitch that's why you taking your motherfucking murderous ass to jail i hope they will hope her ass as soon I as hope. she get up in there I hope she was trying to um, she was trying to say that she was really trying to paint it paint the picture paint the pi- picture I can't even talk right there so I'm paint mad this bitch picture. this bitch makes me she was trying to make it seem like she was a victim 
And that's what was pissing me that's the fuck off. That's what white women do. Bitch, you literally walked in this nigga's crib. He, what was he eating? He was eating like cake and ice yep. watching TV. Mm-hmm. She walked in the house and literally saw did him he, and killed him. Did she him. live near there? Like, what was she had an like, apartment the, in the same complex, like uh-huh. in the same, was it a floor up? I think it's like a floor up. Like, she wasn't even on her floor. Which to me said, did we bitch, get the toxicology report? Drunk, this exactly. bitch was on some shit. All that yeah. kind of shit. It's been so many theories, but I'm just glad that the drunk bitch or whatever she was got found guilty. I hope and they, she just shot him up. Yes. Put him down. Did and then try to lie and say she did CPR. He had no blood on her or nothing. Yeah. <gasps> she said, said she was she trying to, to lie. She, she was really on the 911 call CPR. saying saying she's giving him CPR, but there's no blood on her or nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Hands clean. How? How'd like yours. How'd that work? Like yours. <laughs> Like she been, like she been like washing yours. dishes with gloves and shit. <laughs> like, yeah, like me. Something I would do. That's fucking So yo. fuck her. Yes, congratulations to being guilty today, yes. bitch. Yes, bitch. I hope they you, stick you it to her mother. I don't, cel- I don't celebrate too many people uh, going to jail, but I do celebrate white people going to jail. So see you later, lady. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's a 26-year-old woman from Baltimore who has fallen in love with the DJ who played at her webbing, uh, webbing, webbing. wedding. <laughs> webbing. <laughs> webbing. <laughs> who played at her wedding two years prior. They now live in North Carolina together. It's what, lit. What song do you think he played, Dustin? OPP. You know, with OPP, and she was like, yeah, you, you know, know me, me. okay? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what? That's what they she said, played. They said the reactions on Twitter have been great, including the guy who said he once ordered an Uber for his girlfriend at the time, and now her and the Uber driver are engaged and <laughs> respecting. Now that I'm not playing. What? That was an Uber you black. Could, Once DJ, you go black, you don't the, come back. The DJ, no, you can take my wife. No, but even but the Uber nigga and take my bitch. Not, Did I get a five star rating? First of all, the Uber's probably getting way more money than the fucking DJ. Nah, you depending don't on what so? kind of rides he doing. Sometimes DJs only DJ like it, wedding DJs. Yeah. They only DJ like two times a week, probably like. They have a real job and they only probably DJ that. No, Saturday. I was just, happy. I was just, they, I was yeah, just feel like disrespected. They're, they're DJ wedding DJs. They're not like all the radio DJ. They're wedding DJs. You not? They're not in the club DJ. So it's like unless this DJ was the finesse bread. guy and he was like, I ain't gonna have no job and I'm gonna get a bitch at every wedding I do. Yo, and that's how he, he stayed afloat. Yo, what if this next? What if the next story come out like he just fucked mad niggas' wives? I'm yeah. dead. After the wedding, he probably playing their favorite songs. Legend. And shit. Fuck boy fall Here we come We here We here Legend Ain't shit autumn Hey Hey <laughs> So are y'all gonna cop we're Kanye's here. album Jesus is King No Yes But I'm not gonna no. tell nobody I got it I'm not I haven't listened to Why are you not gonna nothing. tell nobody <laughs> I'm churchy Fake Look fuck. I'm fucking churchy Let me I, tell I you something Let me tell you it. something This nigga is turning God's, He's turning so anxious In a gospel song You know so songs. funny Every single time I see something On the shade room with him I don't even like pay no, I never even heard nothing yet So when I, I see them qu- Look I When I see him I don't When I see the Kardashians I don't When I see a choir My churchy ass is in there See like, I don't For me I'm churchy, I, I, I haven't forgotten Nor have I forgiven None of the Trump Donald Trump support I haven't forgiven him Going yeah. on TV Saying slavery was a choice I haven't forgotten yes. About him sitting up In the White House Rubbing fucking Donald Trump's Rotten ass shoulders Putting Wait, on the MAGA Rubbing his yes, shoulders Yes putting on the MAGA hat Taking pictures Hugging um, and, and trying to push that And supporting people Like Candace Owens Who we all know Is the most raggedy Of raggedy conservatives Is that the bitch That I don't like ends Yeah Yes, yes. Oh, that's her. her. So, bad. so to me, so to bad me, bad it's gonna take bad. more than than you than some good singing to to get me back on your so side. I'm not on I'm his offended. side. I'm offended, and, and, it's, and it's, 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 it's more than that for me. Is he singing? So I know that what he's doing is using black people's allegiance to God and Jesus and religion. You know the the ties yeah. that bind black people together. Mm-hmm. He's using that as a vehicle to get back on the good side, side of, of black, black people. people. Right. And, I'm, and, and the and sad part is, I, I haven't, and I. Mind you, I was a huge Kanye West fan. Yeah, supported every single motherfucking album, every tour. Did that shit surprise that. you? Because that shit surprised the fuck out yeah, of me. Yeah, it surprised me. No, it didn't. And it surprised you? It surprised, surprised me. You know why? Because it, surprised me? it was because, so definitive. It was so final. He's done so many things. That's what I'm saying. That's why. I did, that's why I didn't surprise me. Car- but but to do something as blatantly. Um, like blatantly disrespectful, offensive of and blatantly obtuse of the black experience as aligning yourself with Donald been, Trump. But he, come on, you're from fucking Chicago, and your mother was an African American studies professor, right? But he's always been. Give me a fucking t- break, I told man. This, this the reason I wasn't surprised because I I, I realized early on. 
I realized wow. early yeah. on that we got to take this nigga for what it is, right? So, right, right now, I'm wearing the Nike Easy ones, right? Like, this was a great moment for, for, for sneakers, right? And he was a great moment for fashion. It. You yeah. know, I don't wear the Adidas ones. These came out before the bullshit. So my personal <laughs> policy is anything but from the lie. life of Pablo before. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's my policy. I like the Yeezy, so I can't front. Like, but, I just be wearing But my them. thing is, I be, realized... I'm forgetting this from Kanye. Right, look, I realized fire. it was a game. Yes, because they fire. I, I realized it was all a game, right? The minute... And this was early on. This had to be when uh, graduation was coming out. Okay, yeah, I was yeah, reading yeah. something, and it was talking about him going to... Art school. Yeah. Kanye went to art school and then dropped out mm-hmm. and then did all this stuff. So when we bought into college dropout, we bought in late registration, we bought into this like black college experience that he didn't experience. Mm-hmm. And then you realize he has writers. So I'm like, oh, this nigga's been wearing a face all this time. So it's like, oh, I get it. So I'm going to take from him everything at face value. So when he said, oh, George Bush don't care about black people, I didn't go up for that shit. I was, okay, he said that. Well, he's and a when very he cut, immature person to me. And he, what makes right, him immature right. is him doing exactly what you're describing, which is being so consumed with the present moment and whatever his feelings are in the immediate sense about that matter, that that's what he acts out on. And to me, every single time, he was so expressive. You're absolutely right. Mm-hmm. He was, I guess, disingenuous in his presentation with the college experience yeah. shit. And that's because whatever he's feeling at the moment as immature and insecure as he is he goes he lashes yep, out yep. what i forgot we were dealing with was a person who was finding validation and um he was just 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 he was finding self-worth in people being fans of his and, and being famous and shit yeah because he has really really low self-esteem i don't think he i think he thinks he's ugly i think all that shit remember he talked ugly. about he been ugly but remember he, like, he, he <laughs> like a fish he looked like a walnut but remember <laughs> that, uh Remember, you know he do. You know I he think ever since the passing man. of his mom, he's just lost his mind. That, it was gone before that. It was gone before right. then. Because he was he doing that wild mom, shit. It's been like, yo, y'all remember? Yo, y'all remember? Uh, punked. Yeah. Y'all remember they they punked his ass about like the video shoot and he did all that extra shit about like he jumped in the car. It looked like a movie scene. Like he jumped in the car. All they said was, you can't have a video. You a millionaire, you can pay for it. Whatever happened to him and that girl that he was with? That was like his wifey. The Delta joint. The first girl? Yeah. Yes. What was her that name? Was I think it was like Ashley. Alexis. Alexis. Alexis was her name. She what was fly. What happened to that? Amber happened. She, 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 she got lucky. Damn. She dodged a bullet. Sis got out of there. No, I feel like she I loved him with Amber Rose. I liked him. But the even couple. then, if you look at that, he was doing, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. he was, a, he was a, a victim of the moment every time. Well, to me, he had, Kanye West is, a, is the ultimate narcissist. Okay, did y'all Absolutely. see Amber Rose lately? Yeah, she she's is. so I'm pregnant. Not attack, I'm, not, so I'm pregnant. not attacking no pregnant Yo, she, no, 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 not attacking her. No, 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 she no, no, looked no. beautiful. Like, she looked beautiful. Yeah. She's oh, real pregnant. Are you I got scared. I thought he was attacked. Hell no, we're not attacking her. No, she looks beautiful, but she's big Oh, but she's carrying like a beautiful. Yes, yes. But I know for a fact she's going to snap the fuck back and that's the thing. I don't know. Hell yeah. I don't know. No, she's gonna. Well, she is because she's because she's rich. No, but it's not only that. She like she likes to exercise. <laughs> yeah. you know, she does stuff like that. Like but really she, exercise. But she's rich. Yes, that's because that second. Listen, that second kid hit different. Wait, who's that by? Is he, he's 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 a rich His name something? is a baseball player. Or something, oh, he's a baseball right? player. No, he, no, he's not a baseball player. <laughs> he's not a baseball player. Oh he works. She left. Last, the, she left the baseball player. He works for that last Kings label or whatever. He's like a uh Last he a A&R, the tiger shit. They got ARs over there? Uh-huh. Shit. Yeah, me. He may even rap over there. Maybe he's not an AR. Maybe his name is AE. And I'm just making that correlation in my head. But he's he affiliated that. with the label. I believe he's an artist over there. He's either an artist or an There's AZ. no way. That, see, yeah. that's that's why I be saying y'all don't be appreciating your vagina. There's no way you fucking a nigga. I think Amber Rose is one person who certainly appreciates can't, her you, vagina. You can't be fucking a nigga. <laughs> You can't be fucking a nigga on Tiger's label. You know how she be doing the slut walk star? Mm-hmm. Me and uh, Mouse said we was going to do the nigga stroll. Oh, word. What? Yeah. Word. I'm dead. Word. Everybody got to show up in Jordan shorts. got to show up in Jordan shorts, wife beaters, and your Nike flip flops. Yep. Like, but Durags, you you blunts behind the ear. Leave and have the cape out. 
Don't cape. don't don't show up with the cape tucker. because I don't trust you. Oh my fucking And you God. gotta drive somebody else's car. Oh, you have to, to pull the, up and shoot. And, and she has to be a woman. Yeah. Yo, her son is so smart too. Amber Rose. Yes. Hell yeah. What did he say that? Uh, translucent. Remember what <laughs> yes. he said? Translucent. Yeah. He's <laughs> mad he smart. So He's a cute little smart. boy too. Yes. Super smart. Super like, cute. Like that's one thing. She's a great fucking mom. And bro. her and Wiz co parent yes. well. They're, I love the way they do that. Me too. You like, gotta be friends it. like that to you know what I'm saying to raise a healthy, well-adjusted child. Otherwise, you end up with one of them little dick kids like that nigga you was talking about earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak. <laughs> so uh-huh. was the stroke. How you feeling, Star? I'm fucking tired and my feet hurt. I'm tired too, and I'm congested. You hear it in my voice. I feel like people don't know how fucking. <laughs> tired I am like I'm just so tired my fucking ankles are swollen I just moved into my fucking new you've been working too hard you've been like, working you too me? hard I've been, I had some fucking groupy ass movers in the beginning I had Talk to fire the, I had to fire the fucking workers uh, what like, happened okay so <laughs> my long manager's, story short long story again. short Somebody hired me some um, some movers, and the movers that came was ghetto as fuck, and just was on some oh hi star oh yeah they're your star we're gonna know where you live uh, uh, uh. and it's like oh and then they came in was like oh yeah your stuff looks expensive and it's like wait what nah, you're yeah, not even packing anything like why are y'all watching what I got and then you telling me you're gonna know where I live now oh no you got to go boo boo <laughs> I fired them like that's a breach of security like you feel me like y'all feening too much to. Like that was just, they were just too happy to know where they're moving me into. You understand? And I'm from the hood, so it's like you ain't gonna lie me. Like Word. you feel me? That's I, I wasn't even thinking about my safety. I was thinking about oh y'all gonna lie me for my crib shit you in gotta, my crib. You gotta go. You feel me for the stuff that I got? Cause it's like y'all talking about oh this is nice. This is not. It's like oh so y'all. Y'all watch it, y'all my clock shit. in my, yeah. my crib. It's like how people watch your pockets. Yeah. You watch in my crib. You yeah. feel me? Right. Like you not watching my pockets. You watching my crib because I don't give a fuck about my safety. Like I'm good. Like right. my crib now, like you feel me, what's going on there? They could they put just, a whole plan together. Exactly, they was just, and even though like I got security systems, I don't give a fuck. It's the simple fact that shit happens, bro. I, I didn't see people get into get past security systems, mm-hmm. like you understand. So, okay, <laughs> security system ain't nothing but a few buttons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't see people get past security systems. So get the fuck out of here. Yo, y'all seen that shit? Um, y'all seen that shit? Remy said on um. What's that shit called? State of the culture. State of the culture. What's she say about um, if you take any, if you take any type of money for any type of sexual engagement, then yeah. that's prostitution, including rape. Yeah, I saw she said that it was I, pretty I controversial it. too. What, what do you mean you believe it? What do you believe? I feel like, me personally, right? If I get raped, there's no amount of money that's gonna make me feel better. Sure. Okay. There's no amount of money. I don't want no money. Like, I want your head. You understand? Like, period. I don't want no bread. Like, I'm okay. Like, so you're not going to court at all? No. So that's different. So that's completely different. And I, I understand that. That's completely different. I'm in the street. So that's I, what I'm I, saying. I, but okay, so say For if, I wasn't, not say in if I wasn't in the street, there I still you go. feel like then you should be behind bars. If I'm a law-abiding citizen, because right. I feel like law-abiding citizens have the right to, you know, like my mom, y'all mom, they have the right to call the cops because they're not in the they're street. They didn't take they no take, oath yeah. to the streets. You feel me? They're not in the streets gangbanging or call the police. You know, just doing anything crazy. You pay, you pay a price yes. to call the police. They, y'all, y'all are taxpayers. Y'all, pay, y'all call the fucking police, ma. Like, you understand? Don't huh, call the police. You know, but I feel like if you're a law-abiding citizen, call the fucking police. What you asking for so look, for? How's that going to make you feel better? So look, this is what I say to that. One, I hear I hear both sides. I hear I hear both sides. We're talking about law-abiding citizens. I, we, I hear both sides. I hear, don't ask, what are you doing? That's crazy. And I hear, I'm going to get my bread. Because we, we are in no position, especially me as a man, I'm in no position to tell any woman how to seek justice for herself. But how is when that done... going to ever cope? But look, this is what I'm saying. You you never going to cope. Whether the motherfucker in jail or he not in jail, you never going to cope. And here nah, goes the you thing. You will cope better being in jail. I don't think... You know why? Because I can sit here and settle out and take this bread and he's still walking around here to rape somebody but, but now, else. Now, what if you take him to trap? Now, this is why I say. So, you understand? Like, at least you know, all right, he's, we... he's trapped in there and somebody's right. probably raping him. You understand? But, what but about... for you to know that, damn, all right, yeah, you know, I settled out, I took this bread and nothing is happening to him but me taking that bread? Now, what nothing. about if... Nothing but bread was taken from him. Now, I... what if... Now, now we have to also address the statistics of rape cases that go 
un, un, unjustified, unreported, unreported, un, forget, unreport, reported, and then nothing happens. Just, yeah. Motherfucker don't believe you. The case don't. Yo, and uh, nigga, I th- I'm pretty sure all of us watch H- SVU as a part of being black. Yeah, yeah. I was watching I watch a new episode. I was watching a new episode last week, and the shit hit me weird because they was doing like a Weinstein esque yeah. type thing. And so when the, when uh, Olivia came to the 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 new DA. She was like, boom, 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 we got a witness. The first thing she said, is she credible? That's real life, though. They asking, is a person who's telling you they rape, are they credible? So that lets us know the bullshit that going on in that courtroom when it comes to these people getting it. So if I'm already a woman in this in this world, and I know the likelihood of this nigga getting, getting, getting convicted ain't going to happen, and I'm broke, I'm fucked up, well... If there's an opportunity for me to get paid and take this money, I'm going to take it. And I'm not going to look at any different for that because we we not we looking at this as these are all rich people. Like we looking at this like these are all the rich women that was uh, accusing Cosby and Weinstein. These are women we're talking about that are broke. They are fucked up in the beginning. So now you already broke. You already living below how you feel you should be living. You fucked up already. And now somebody else just put some extra shit on you. They just took something from you. But what about for the people who is asking for money and don't get that either? Because it's people who ask for settlement money and don't get shit. First of all, I think there's three either, different either, conversations like, going either on. Or, either right. or you can you can lose. You could take them to court and might not. You know, it could lose. There's three different conversations bread. going on. What you're talking about is justice, essentially. You feel like you won't feel you won't feel as if justice has been served by accepting a monetary payout when someone has done something to you like rape it's, you would yes, like to like, see them like somebody, see, it's like have this. a consequence yes, it's like this if you disrespect disrespect me privately I, I mean publicly I want that apology, apology publicly. publicly like you're right. saying you're not gonna come behind closed doors after you just violated me and just be like yo my bad for that no bitch you better say that shit to the world like you did before like you understand I just feel like I totally it's, understand I'm not gonna that. I'm not gonna feel better getting bred like so, I just feel like I'm a, even if I Fought to loss, I fought. So that's how you feel like yeah, you would I like fought. justice would yeah. be served, right? Some people feel that way as well. I think that the conversation, Remy, what Remy said that I don't agree with was that that's prostitution. I don't believe that's prostitution. Yeah, a, I see the point she was there. trying to make. I see the point she's trying to make. I see the point she's trying to make, but yeah. I see where she yeah. was trying to go with it. Like, bitch, so, it's the same. It's like you, it's like I you think might that's as well what everybody that called, trying, that's what everybody tried yeah, to take like, issue with. Yeah, like, her saying it was prostitution. Even though that person got raped, it's like they didn't get that behind their. I also no think will. that Remy wasn't referring to the girls that you were just describing, who are the women who have been have experienced this trauma and are now in a position where they have to rely on the justice system right. to find some sort of resolution, and they're faced with a settlement, right. and that's what it exists. That ain't who Remy was talking right. about, I believe. Now, I don't know, because I don't know Remy. Right, right, I don't right. know what she was talking about, mm-hmm. for real. But the point I feel like she was trying to make was the people who purposely seek out opportunities to try to catch up um, wealthy men or men who try to seek up opportunities to catch up wealthy women for the sole purpose of getting them in a compromised position where they can then make an allegation right. that they now have to either decide to fight or pay payout. the people off, mm-hmm. that people that are seeking that sort of payout, I believe that that's what Remy was referring to. And I can see and that. And I think it was just, it's such a big topic that her comment just kind of got it became an umbrella comment right. as opposed to something that she was specifically... The nuances, yeah. Those certain nuances. I think mm-hmm. that's where the miscommunication kind of took and I place. Can, and that I can you see. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. obviously she knows that but even if a that, woman I, was yeah. raped... You, first of all, it's very sensitive anyway because I'm not a woman. I'm a man. Exactly. So it's not my place to even say whether somebody's right or wrong for however but you know when you hit, when, when you But you know, when niggas heard that... Yeah, of course they was going Niggas said, yeah, that. yeah, Remy right. Yeah. Of course, because there's there are there are certain niggas and men, there's which a lot is what we're niggas, saying, yeah. who are who have not taken the time to even understand rape culture, mm-hmm. understand how they can contribute to that, right? Rapey. All that shit, and so there's so much work that needs to be done. Unfortunately, there are people who are aware of that and so intimidated by the prospect of doing the work, they looking for situations like this to say, okay, so she said it, so now that's what the fuck we was talking about. Like you see, like you see how the like, situation with um like Usher, remember that girl who accused him <laughs> yeah. and she disappeared off the face of, face, face of the earth and now she's back and I guess the charges is being dropped. Situation. It's like, you understand what I'm talking, remember, you know what I'm talking about? As soon yes, as I see like, her. 
first of all. But you know what's so funny? I know people who know her. Like, no, really? firstly, know her. Yes, she's from East New York in Brooklyn. And they said that she was always, like, like slow. Like, she was in, like, the special ed classes and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And that's a first-hand account. So we got an exclusive. That's a Keeping yes, the Beauty exclusive. That's, a, that's an exclusive. Bring <laughs> yeah. it. They said Bring it. Like, even, you know, I my, mean, you know breaking who my friends, news, you know who my okay. friends personally know and went to school with, too? I don't know if you know ever, like, if y'all remember it, but it was the guy who stabbed up the kids inside the elevator in the projects in East New York. Yeah. And one of them died. The fem- the little girl survived, but the little boy didn't. And she, yeah. but the little girl had a whole bunch of stab marks. Yeah. He's been... Crazy and like in and out, um, mental, like mental institutions, institutions and stuff. yes, and like from school, from junior high school, like high school. You understand? It's like he's he Ben was not supposed to be on the street. Yeah, but ben you know how that goes. The they gonna toss them to the projects anyway. You, is New York do a terrible you know, job of dealing think, with their mental? I don't think he lived. In, I don't think he lived in the projects. He was just he was he's just from out. East New York though. But yeah. yeah, he was he was in the project. He was in Linden, no Boulevard. It was actually Boulevard. Cause Boulevard is across the street. But he was he was just there. Like that's but fucked that's up. not where he he went to Gersh. Yeah, that's I remember that, that shit. Like, yeah, like that so back crazy. to the uh, the girl who accused Usher. Yeah, it's back to her. <laughs> so yeah, I, I heard the jig was up. Yeah, the gig is up. I heard she got up on the stage and was like, you know what, y'all, <laughs> never mind type shit. But you know, people like that makes me feel like it makes like it's I think weird because it's that's like that's who Remy was talking yeah, about. But that's that different though. Like, that's different though, right? Like she wasn't accusing him of rape. Just saying. Right. And I believe that Remy was was in What was she accusing again? That he has uh, herpes, herpes and gave it to her. Gave it to her. So there, it was a sexual related accusation, but it wasn't rape. And isn't isn't that the reason why his wife left him or his fiance? No, they was they like was that? they was already broken up before that. No, I they thought didn't. he left her. They I wasn't thought he left up. her because Look, he, he didn't charge. No, she left the him. chair that take her up the steps. You know he liked them old bitches. No, she left him. <laughs> you didn't plug the goddamn chair in. <laughs> yeah, but that's it's what old. I would do. I would do that midway. Yep, as soon yep, as your ass in that yep. little medi back <clears throat> shit. As soon as you midway, you say, bitch. Now what the fuck you talking <laughs> downstairs? <laughs> now who gonna come get your stupid ass from up there? Uh huh. Keep fucking with me. I ain't putting none of them insurers in the refrigerator, bitch. You old bitch. Yeah. I'm going to go, I'm a go outside and tell you a little, uh, what's the little bus that come get them? Yeah. She, she good today? The accessorize. <laughs> the accessorize. Yeah. I'm like, nah, she good today. <laughs> you know, <laughs> us are like older women, style. You lying. No. Like Every, that nigga like, Didn't from Chile. Chile. She's 20 years older than him. There you go, You're right lying. there. You not not no 20, chi- but like 10. Think about TLC oh, and then shit. think about Usher. When TLC was popping, Usher was five. I can't think about, I can't think about none of them because I wasn't paying no mind to music exactly. at that time. Exactly. So how so. old you think they is? They are. What the hell is wrong with me? How old you think they is? <laughs> <laughs> how old you think they is? <laughs> how old you think they is? <laughs> Got a little too comfortable in this motherfucker. Because you know that's what I would have said out in the front. What's yeah. the, how old you think they is? Yeah. Yeah. How old you think they is? is? No, be you, Dutch. Let it out. Be you. <clears throat> I'm on the move. I'm on my way up. <laughs> <laughs> how old you think they is? Okay. Yo. Rapper Dave East and a woman. Oh, brother. That's the only hit he caught, huh? Rapper Dave East and a woman. <laughs> 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 Rapper Dave East. First of all, you ain't you not gonna sit up here in front like Karma Two ain't the shit. Oh my god. First of all, Karma Two is the shit, and you know it is. So don't even try it, nigga. You Rapper don't nobody Dave East and a woman who? sided Y'all for battery in Las Vegas in after <laughs> threesome goes wrong. While no one was arrested in the incident, cops said they got to fight because they ain't like the music. <laughs> were thrown between Dave and two <laughs> women. He brought back to his hotel room. Nigga, cops Dave used to play Karma Two witnesses. during the threesome. <laughs> To the altercation that Dave and two women allegedly got into following his appearance. <laughs> that, I'm telling you. What kind of fucking was they doing up in the hotel room in Vegas? Nigga was like, not. Nah, but I n- thought he's back with his, his baby mother. I, I think know. he is now, but that, that might have been during a break. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to hold him down. You know, your downtime can become uptime real quick. <laughs> <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Oh yeah, uptown could up be time. uptown. No, what downtime. it was is, hey, hey. Nah, what it was is, they went up to the room thinking they was with meth and men. <laughs> I don't get it. Until he plays meth and men on, on the Wu Tang uh, show series on Hulu. Oh, so you don't watch Hulu? No, you are too gangster. <laughs> the fuck is a Hulu? 
<laughs> you put it around your hips and you do this. Don't listen. I know, I know, I know, I know what a hula hoop is, but what the fuck is hula hoop? It's a streaming platform that we're going to put you up on. Why? Don't even worry. You're going to know in a minute, boy. I don't want to see anything that Dave East is in. <laughs> I'm telling you, that shit is all right. The show Not was good. Not even the threesome. That nigga went to the threesome talk about Takao. <laughs> so M-E-T-H-O-D. So, so he's acting? Yeah. He's a good actor? Uh, he's, he's been acting like he's from Harlem all this time, so yeah. He is from Harlem. He not from Harlem? Where's he is he from, from Harlem, Miles? bro. Where's Davies from? Bro, Davies is from Harlem, bro. Where's he from, Miles? He is from fucking Louisiana, yo. What? When did he move to Harlem? The state? We still <laughs> trying to figure that out. <laughs> you heard me? The state? Yeah, the state. Louisiana. Nah, he's from, no, he's from Harlem. Because everybody call him, like, back in the day, he was some dusty Harlem nigga. Like, he's, but nobody says that. He's... <laughs> Oh yeah, he does say it. Okay. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what my nah, Google, it, too Google lit. it. Let's find I'm, out. I'm, look, look now, you niggas gonna be Mouse tight. Said, nobody, Dustin. <laughs> don't nobody but you listen. Where's Dave? <laughs> look, it's gonna say it's gonna say parts unknown. <laughs> it says East Harlem. I, Wait, look. is his name David? Mm-hmm. Right, David Lawrence Brewster <laughs> Jr. Was born in New York City and spent his life between East Harlem, where his mother resides, and Queens in Queensbridge, where he lived with his aunt. The rapper is of Bajan and Dominican descent. He played basketball and football at Springbrook High School. Where's he Springbrook is- High School at? Maybe they went down south. You know, you know, New <laughs> no, York niggas look, love moving to Charlotte he, and he shit. He was born in New York and spent his life between East New York, East Harlem and in Queensbridge. He's from fucking. What you? What's your source, uh, Star? What you looking up? Wikipedia. For? <laughs> I looked, and um. Oh wait, this high school's in Maryland. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Maybe he went to school, high school in Maryland. Yeah, that's what you think, huh? Hold on. Let's see. So the threesome. <laughs> Back, well, to, back to Vegas. So what that, happened, that didn't happen in Louisiana. What happened in Vegas with the threesome? Um, Let's they see. got into a fight. Bottles was thrown, punches. I just wonder, like, how it got to that point, right? Cause niggas be trying, um, niggas be trying to play their mixtape during sex. Niggas don't want to hear that shit. Oh Unless look, I got what you're too. talking about. It says he was born in Harlem, New York. But he is of Louisiana Creole, Bayesian, and Dominican descent. Niggas have been posting his picture from his school yearbook in Louisiana. But look, all over high Twitter. school, he went to high school in Maryland where he played ball. So where's all this Harlem talk? Harlem is where he was born and grew up. Says him. Says Google. Says him. I don't yeah. give a fuck where he from. Karma 2 still good. I don't give a fuck what you talking about, Mouse. I can't believe you don't like Karma 2. Karma 2 ain't that good. It's amazing. Like, uh, Imagine, Russia, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, leveling up, you know what I'm saying? No stylist. I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Is that no stylist? <laughs> look, man, I'm not doing it. All right. Davies, look. That nigga. I like karma too, man. <laughs> Fuck my. Husband. What about the rest of the? What about the rest of the? I'm specifically talking about oh, okay. karma too. Right. Thank you very much. Look at start. Start tight. <laughs> start trying to get to the bottom of this shit. Yes. You didn't like, get her, her investigative reporter shit. She's like, hold on, let me be a private eye. Because like he's from Harlem. I remember he came to the club one day. And he was with mad dusty ass Harlem niggas. <laughs> Star says you ain't finna fuck up what she know. Yes, like okay. the fuck. What she knows, he's from Harlem. Mouse. Mouse. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Are we gonna go into these emails? Please. Oh god. Okay. It's your turn. All right. <clears throat> First email we have this week, and just you wanna let the people know where they can email you, Star? Yes, y'all can email at xstarbrim at gmail.com. That's right. Unless it's some bullshit. Then it's suck my dick. So the first email is anonymous, and it says, first off, love your podcast. She thanks you. Thank so you. So she's been the person who wrote the email has been friends with this dude for a little shout out to your ex boyfriend over ten years, <laughs> basically best friends. 
Recently, we started being friends with benefits, and I know he has other girls. He claimed none of them were serious and th that the girls knew this as well. But I just wanted the D, real talk. We were super cool, and I've been single for over two years and just wanted the sex. Basically, one of his girls hit me up talking about they're in a relationship and that she found our messages. Okay, and... Well, they broke up, and we continued having sex, and then I find out that he went back to her, but he denied it to me. Okay, fine. I'm going to fall back. He continued to hit me up, so since, quote-unquote, y'all are together, I texted her, telling her, hey, sis, tell your man to stop texting me. Hours later, she want to text back, you don't know me, Do you, you don't know me, you don't want no problems, blah, 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 worry about your fat self and autistic son. Right. So I sent wow. the address and said, pull it. up. You're not going to mm. mention my child. Couldn't she blocked me. I asked dude to send me to her. He refused. He's known but me 10 But first of all, years. how did she even know your son was autistic? Known, me less, known her less than two. I cut him completely off, but he wants to continue a friendship, which how can she know that if she cut him completely off? Am I wrong to cut him off for her comments? He knows my kids very well to the point where they called him uncle. I feel like he should have had my back more, but he said he feels like he's setting her up. Uh, first of all... No, sis. I don't feel like you should talk to him no more because at the end of the day, for her to know anything about your kid means that he's pillow talking with her about your personal business. Like, what the fuck? And then for her to throw that in your face like that? Nah, that's a dub. Like, Honestly, I feel like here. she's flawed in the first place, though, the girl who wrote in. Because, because she's fucking the nigga knowing that. No, because um, I feel like she's fronting. Like, either you cool with the fact that y'all not in a relationship and this is just a sexual thing or you're not. And I feel like the moment where she... But I feel like she, 10 years of friendship, like, I don't... I, that's a different story, I can story, never though. have that. Like, I can never look at none of my homies do you see and want to have this, sex. Well, me either. But do you see how this... Do you see how this happened? She says that... Um, that she said that he claimed that none of the girls were serious and that they knew that what was going on between him and her. She said she just wanted the D and they were super cool. She just wanted sex. One of the girls hit her up saying that they were in a relationship and she found the messages. And then she said they broke up and they continued having sex. Then she found out that he went back to messing with her and he denied it to her. If you found out, why are you even asking them about it if you don't care and this is just sex? The mm -hmm. minute you started playing them games, that back and forth shit and making it as if there was some sort of accountability, like you, you know what I'm saying? That's where you introduce all this shit. She could have completely ignored that girl's message because she had no reason to give a mm -hmm. fuck. They just fucking. So to me, you was fronting because it was more than just sex to you and you liked the message messy drama aspects that this other bitch brought into the picture and you want him to yourself whether you want to admit it or not that's why after you found out he started fucking her again you asked him about it why mm -hmm. you even give a fuck enough to ask about it if y'all just and said, give him the said. and if you knew that he was doing it why you ask him about it any damn way you want it to be some sort of issue so i blame her personally Mm. Yeah, this all start with her. It's a fucking fool. You shouldn't have did the shit in the first place if you Shut wasn't going to be Mouse. honest. You're going to always blame the girl anyway. Shut up. No, I blame the person in control. And the Shut person up. with the pussy is usually in control. So, you played the shit wrong. Okay, let's do the next one. Over here, <laughs> over here, fucking niggas. You got people talking <laughs> about your goddamn son. All right, here we go. Now, nah, that's not funny. <laughs> right. Yes, well, what you is. expect once you send a motherfucking text back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> talking about tell your man to stop texting me. <laughs> what did you expect? That, at that point, it's open season. <laughs> Fuck Honestly, yeah, yeah, me, I feel the like if this, is, if this is just sex, why the fuck is you even letting her know he's texting? I would have just been fucking. You see what I'm saying? The niggas don't this be hurt. They don't be honest with what they really want. That's what I'm saying. Like, and what how... these bitches want from a nigga? Right. All right. Even second email. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Y'all see? Y'all see my my fave DMX? How he's looking in the GQ magazine? They had him cleaned up and don't dressed talk, good. Don't talk about my fave. My fave looking like money. All what right, you got to say back. about DMX? No, he's not going to say nothing about DMX. What the letters stand for, Miles? Get the fuck out. You will get the fuck out if you talk about DMX. If you talk any negative, Dustin, huh? Dustin, mm -hmm. tell him. If he I don't give a fuck about no DMX, dog. No. I like fuck, DMX, fuck but don't fuck about don't, don't, don't talk about but DMX. But the pictures don't wasn't fucking, flattering. Don't fucking talk <laughs> about DMX. The pictures wasn't flattering. He looked like Cleveland. Don't talk. He looked like Cleveland. You look like Cleveland. He looked like Cleveland. I thought the styling was good. Don't you? Don't ever talk about like that coat. I like that coat. Yeah, I like that My coat. My nigga look like he had mad Rolexes on the inside of that coat. 
<laughs> Nigga DMX looked like he was about to be like dead. <laughs> You remember what family matters? <laughs> when yes. Steve Urkel bought yes. that fake gold joy. <laughs> get the fuck out. Get out. Mouse ain't shit. Yes, Mouse, get the fuck out because you can't be talking about him. And he had on Stacey Adams. <laughs> well, at least he stay on point. Remember that Snoop shit? Anyways, we you're going to go to the email point, number two because you're talking about him. And I don't, I'm I not talking that. about DMX. I love I don't DMX. All right, so email two DMX. from DMX. Now I'm just playing for loyalty. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Uh, I have a homie. This okay. already starting off wrong. <laughs> I, I have you. a homie, a play brother, that got in a jam, and he's currently doing time in the feds. He and I were getting money together. In fact, he was my connect. And because of him, I was eating good, and he saved me in many ways and made a way for me and my sons to be straight. Mind you, that's not what this email says, but I'm <laughs> editing as I read. Thank you. I was writing him on a regular and accepting his calls, hitting his books, and throwing his kids some bread, too, for a minute. But I suddenly stopped and blocked his cause because he would talk business so open and freely over the lines that it made me uncomfortable. This conversation Sorry, is nigga. starting to make me uncomfortable. I'm trying to come home. I expressed it to him repeatedly every time, but he continues to do it every time he calls. Me being an overthinker, it crossed my mind like, I hope this nigga ain't, the fucking ain't trying feds. to set me up because right. he's acting slow as hell like he doesn't know how to move. So that's when I started blocking the cause. Okay. Consciously, it, which means honestly. So I'll say honestly instead. Yeah, just say honestly. Honestly, it bothers me considering he's the fart. one. Consi- open that door. I honestly, it, it bothers you put me. Put the mic there. Sorry. Considering here, here you go, Star. No, no, no. I want him to smell it. No, I don't want to smell it. I want Spray. him to Thank smell you. it. Thank you. Thank you. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. She's a sick, sick woman. <laughs> okay, so I figured I'd wait to see him on the outside and just block him in the meantime. But I don't want him to feel like I forgot about him. So I spoke to his girl so that I know he's straight on his books. I do appreciate and value our friendship and care about his well-being. Do you consider me being unloyal since I stepped away from him in a time where I felt like he could use some emotional support? So basically, she want to know if uh, you feel like she's wrong. No, I don't feel you're wrong because if it, you feel like your safety is in jeopardy, you're never wrong. Your freedom and safety is always paramount. Yes. If niggas is playing with that, block them, and you see them niggas when they get home. To be honest, I wouldn't even talk to niggas that. I'm so paranoid. I wouldn't even talk. You moving like that. Yeah, I'm. When you come there. home, don't even talk to me. Yeah, dude. I don't even want to speak to you. Especially from somebody who knows better. Like you what the know fuck better. Is this? You not in. You not in. You not in. Plus, not I feel like this. Custody. I was a worker. Like you understand when I was scamming, I was a worker. I don't feel like I owe none of y'all anything. If you get locked up, nigga, I worked for my bread. Like you feel me? I don't have to be putting money on your books and doing shit like that, and vice versa. My niggas that I worked for never was putting money on my books when I went to jail and shit like that. Because at the end of the day, I worked. I got my cut, and we go our way. Like. It is what it is. Like, you feel me? Like, all this other extra shit, you, you're you not obligated to take care of him. That's not part of that. I think it's more so because she if, said... If that's your friend, yeah. yeah. But y'all, that was her friend because she said that was her connect. She said, I have a homie, a play brother, that got in the jam. He's doing time. And then she said, basically, he was my connect. Oh, okay. So maybe... But maybe... Don't we don't know. Maybe she... Maybe they did have a pre-existing relationship before they started working together. Or maybe they was working together and she's the type of person who misconstrued that as a friendship you know what I'm saying she should have had her head on straight like you said and just understood that it was a J-O so yeah. I don't know even answering I don't know this, well, answering this email too much might have us in front of somebody so I'm not saying nothing the no. first thing she needs to start doing is proofreading <laughs> <laughs> have that nigga do that while he's inside work together on that <laughs> I you just know, know that if you feel like you're in jeopardy, the conversation's over and Clear. There's, Hello. Yeah, there's there's no feeling bad. It is what it is. I gotta stay home. I yeah. got shit to do. You got kids, sis. That's really what I be thinking about. I be like, I got shit to do tomorrow, so like I can't go out like that. So are we are we reading this are we reading this last one, Star? No. <laughs> What you think? You had enough emails for the week or you want to read this last one? Let's read this last one and I'm not answering it. Well, you might not. They might. It might not be the answer they thought they was going to get. I'll put it <laughs> to you like that. All right. So, come on. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Oh, man. I don't even want to do this. So, yeah, this let's is not. Somebody mother, wanna not son. do it? It's, nah, don't do this. Yeah, thing. no. It's this just is, too. This, yeah, this, this is too. This. Speaking of the Let's feds, this, this bitch probably the feds. That's what I'm saying. And so why do don't this, you just mad tell people them gonna be why you, to you do don't want to answer this email? Okay. Basically, somebody's mother wrote in asking Star to highlight. Um, huh? You gotta lower the camera. You gotta load the fucking camera. Lower the camera. 
Get the fuck out, Jonathan. <laughs> get the fuck out, Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan, get the fuck out. <laughs> so basically, somebody sent in a very okay, long so email. Asking, is a person? Is a person you know named Jonathan here? <laughs> and really I want my I want this. my listeners to hear this. You really gonna do this? Yes, I need my listeners to hear. How fucked up shit be. <laughs> I'm in the middle of recording. And he comes in and fixes the camera. And he throws me out of whack. Now my pussy's not wet and my nipples isn't hard. Now I'm not excited. I'm dull. But at least you in frame. <laughs> yeah, but I'm in frame because <laughs> yeah. he fixed the camera. <laughs> Shout out to him. <laughs> All right, for the so last I, okay. email. Okay, for the last e- <laughs> I guess because I've been moving around. I've just been up, down, laying down, slouching. But okay, so I'm I don't know about this last email. I don't either. Yeah. Listen. It's wonky. If you a mama, <laughs> okay, and you get the notion, you feel so inclined to write in and to tell start to highlight one of your sons who's incarcerated or whatever, don't do it. And First of all, I'm on say. federal papers. I'm not even supposed to be conversing None with, of other, shit. with anybody that has a felony. But it's a simple fact that, sis, I hear what you're saying. I understand what you're talking about. But I could never know if this person that I'm shouting out is solid or not. Because at the end of the day, I'm not there to read his paperwork. I don't know if he got a 5K letter. I don't know what's going on. Like, you understand? And I don't want to know what's going on because that's not my business. Most and I don't important. know him. This lady emailed in and asked Star to highlight her son as a stand-up guy that's locked up, and she wanted her to, which to me, first of all, I don't know why you think you can call in and, and segment produce, but okay. She <laughs> said she wanted Star to have a new segment where she highlights stand-up niggas in the feds every week. No, motherfucker? And hey, what are you talking about? What kind of weird-ass shit is this? So I think that's why I'm like, we shouldn't even read the email. That's more so answer the email because y'all the audience y'all don't even need to hear it that's how ridiculous (laughs) it is like why would you and get your mama you know what i'm saying like somebody come get your mother oh my god matter of fact get your mama off now i respect i respect that she you know what she's trying to do like you know put it out there for her kid because you never know like a mother's love they be doing you know above and beyond for their kids especially when i told you yes especially when i told you how some mothers are with their sons you understand so you never know like i don't know her so i don't know how she is with her son but she probably want people to know like you know about her kid but this is just not but that type of this is, yeah this is not that type of situation i'm not this doing that. that i'm not putting that out there that's just not what i'm going to do i'm sorry there's a lot of stand up motherfuckers in the world great for them continue being standing up at the end of the day what I don't do or what I do ain't gonna make y'all break y'all if y'all really some stand up ass, ass niggas. You feel me? Like, if y'all some stand up ass niggas, I don't need to shout y'all out. It's like a person who's loyal. You don't gotta say you're loyal. Don't tr- trust me. No, you don't trust the person who says trust me. Like, you understand? So it's like, I'm loyal. <laughs> trust me. You trust me. Like, I'm loyal. Trust me. Whoa, you're not loyal and I shouldn't trust you. All the times that people shouldn't mouse. trust me. Trust like, me. Like, <laughs> to, that, to that point, all the times mouse, that I'm I shouldn't have been trusted, trust me. <laughs> With all the time I said trust me Trust me <laughs> Whenever I told a girl Yo just trust me Shout out to your son I hope he has a, a good I hope he's straight You know what I'm saying oh, I hope he not it. the nigga From the first letter From the, yeah. from the letter before that <laughs> <laughs> You imagine if he the nigga From he the, the connect. From the... He's the He's the uh, the, bro, the play brother And shit Damn. Bro. I would like anyway. to thank everybody for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> I would th- like to thank everybody for tuning in. I'm tired. I'm fucking swollen. I'm hungry. I'm congested, but I'm also He's congested. Back. He's sick. Mouse is just sitting here ugly. So it's just Mouse like. Is a lot of things in this world. Ugly ain't never been one He of says them. that all the time. I called him pussy walking in. He said, Mouse is a lot of things nah, in this world. Nah, no, I didn't. I said, but, you right. I said, I said, you right. I identify as pussy. No, you did not. Like, yes, actually, I did. actually, I identify as pussy. Actually, what you said, you motherfucker. Find somebody to prove it. Yeah, exactly. That's what you said. That's it. I you identify as pussy. To, you just said, have to find somebody. You to find pro- somebody to prove it. You just got to find said. somebody to prove it. Okay, so what are you? What many things are you? A lot of things. Probably whatever you say, but ugly ain't one of them. Like, anyway, be honest. Now. Mouse, like, is here being, no Mouse is just here being ugly. Dustin is, is you know, sick, and I'm tired as fuck. And shitty. So, I'm shitty. Mm-hmm. Now I don't think I gotta take a shit. It didn't stink. But um. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the fart didn't stink. But I want to thank you know all the bald headed bitches and the crusty lip holes for tuning in. They need wanna, jackets. We need to get them some jackets. I want sh- some mer- <laughs> some bald headed. Shout, shout out to all the bitches who got here. You feel me? Who tunes in? <laughs> shout out to the bitches who who you know got lip gloss on their lips that tunes in. And, and shout tea. out to the niggas who wash their balls that tunes in. And yeah. shout out to the the, the the stink balls niggas too because there's a lot of them because I, I see y'all in my Instagram and I could tell by y'all pictures that y'all got stink balls. Because the just camera tell. blurry. Yeah, I could just tell. <laughs> That's that yes, green yes, steam yes, from that, your boss. That, that, yes. <laughs> I can just tell. I don't if that camera's blurry, you got stink balls, bro. Yep. I, I know it for a fact. And the balls is probably hairy as fuck. So, you know, thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Make sure to, you know, keep it fucking beaut. Keep it Drops beaut. every Wednesday at 8 a.m. I have Dustin here and I also have Mouse Jones. Yeah.